Sirius XM. Sirius XM. Sirius XM. The Open Anthony Show. Got Joe DeRosa joining us today. How are you? Well, after Mars, uh, we could use a pick me up. So then, <laughs> don't don't depress us anymore. We're talking about horror films. Yeah. Yeah, that's not a pick me up. Very rarely am I referred to as a pick me up. I know. That's why I'm a little <laughs> concerned right now. Mars brought down this whole fucking show to a level, and now we're hoping that you're going to pump it up a little bit. Well, here, you know sir. what? I got Heather Heights on Twitter really fast. Heather Height writes, uh, shaking after hearing Mars, my mom beat me with wooden spoons. I'm assuming if she put this on Twitter, I could read this. Yeah, of course. Okay. You just it, texted it, it, it wasn't a DM or whatever. Uh, she denies she hit me with the wooden spoons. Uh, she gives me wooden spoons as gifts all the time. So fucked up. So a lot of people yeah. are relating to the Mars thing. The wooden spoons thing is nothing. Your thing was you were adopted and you're just wondering why, right? Yeah, but my mom, I got hit with the wooden spoon sometimes, and I got the strap once in a while. I mean, it's like, that's that's what happened back then. It wasn't abuse. It was like you got fucking... It was a Tuesday. Yeah, it was very different from what Mars is saying, you know? Right. It was, yeah, it was like when you got out of line, you got fucking whacked. The nuns used to hit people in the hands with rulers. Is that abuse? I mean, it's yes. like... Yes, yes. Well, yes, I it mean... is. Now we're, <laughs> now we're learning, yes, it is. It is. It, yeah, it's Those not sadistic old you know, cunts. Those nuns. You know when I uh, before Worthless. I before I had kids, I I I just assumed I was gonna hit my kids, to, you know, to discipline them. Fuck no, can't do it. My here's my thing is that I know times have changed, and I know if a nun hit a kid with a ruler now, it'd be like uh, know, that kid would knock the nun out. It'd be scandalous. But my point is, is like scandalous. It's it's yeah, it'd be a scandal. <laughs> would it scandalous? Oh, it'd be a scandal. All right. Uh, but my point is, is there's different levels of abuse. Right. That's that's what I'm trying to say. You know, it's it's like I, I'm not trying to downgrade this chick story. I don't know how bad her mom knocked her around, but mm. you know, I got a sh leather strap to the ass once in a while. It's like I'm not going to walk around going, I was abused as a child. Sure. You know what I mean? It wasn't emotionally traumatizing. You well, know. Well, uh, parents today, we don't really have um, the tools to discipline our kids. Like my my kid gets timeouts. <sighs> He thinks it's just part of his day now. He gets excited, like, "Oh, it's timeout time!" Yeah, he goes and sits, and he's all happy, and he kind of, he kind of mocks us and mocks the whole timeout thing because he doesn't know any better. And I, I sit there so frustrated. I'm like, "Do you understand what happened to me when we were out of line as kids?" I don't. I, yeah, I mean, I don't. So I don't know how you handle that. So we make, we try to make the timeout a little worse. We put him in another room or something so he's bored. The best you could do to a kid nowadays is just bore him for a little while, and hope that he doesn't want to be bored anymore and will behave. I think it's crazy. Look, I don't have any kids, and I don't think I'd hit my kids. But at the same time, None that you know of, <laughs> <laughs> you fucking asshole. <laughs> but you know, I don't have any kids. But it's like, you know, at some point, uh, we, we you have to just kind of recognize, like, a, a, a kid doesn't have obviously the the vast understanding that someone in their teens or twenties or, or older has, and it's reactionary discipline. It's like they, you know, it's like touching a hot stove. You realize that will burn Spatula. me if I touch it. Right. You know what I mean? So it's like, I'm not saying you got to hit your kids with spoons, but at the same time, it's like I don't think parents are that out of line if they smack their kids on the ass, like to let them know, like don't yeah, fucking I mean, do that. And I'm not telling other parents that that's wrong. You know, what you got to do what you got to do within the limits of whatever society. But I can't imagine doing it at this stage in my parenting. Uh, I see. Do, so oh, do something ahead. unorthodox. Yeah, like maybe make make the kid if he's old enough watch Laverne and Shirley and do a report on it, <laughs> <laughs> on the subtext of the episode. <laughs> yeah, that serves two purposes. That's very funny, and I think that would actually work. Yeah, he realized like, what do you mean subtext, and what's going on underneath? <laughs> I'm this? never gonna misbehave again. I don't want to watch that Laverne and Shirley anymore. No, Mars got a hot oil spatula to his hands. Yeah, I mean, Jesus Christ. That's, that's yeah, Mars but stuff, Mars which... did steal. He did steal. Yeah. Well, that's a terrible know. mother. Terrible. That's horrendous. But Mars. Yeah, uh, that's that's very sad. You're doing a uh, a thing. What's your thing you told uh, me you want to promote? I'm taping another half hour for Comedy Central. Nice. Uh, February 26th in Boston at the Royale. What's the Royale? And 
It's a, it's like a nightclub, something or other, uh, in like the theater district of Sounds Boston. Sounds like a delicious hamburger. I know. <laughs> I know. You With can't cheese. say that word without taking a full figure. So the Royale, is that a traditional, how many seats is it? I, I'm looking to shoot something in Boston. That's why I'm asking. I'm guessing, I mean, I would guess it was probably, it's probably about 500, it's 700. It's a nightclub or it's a comedy there. place? It's, I think it's a nightclub that they convert into, uh, you know, they a, do a, little comedy a club here and there. for, this, for these okay. specials. They, they used to shoot them in... New York at the Hudson. Now they're doing them in Boston at this oh, place. Shit. So, um, but it's apparently it looks great. Like I've seen it on camera, it looks amazing, and it has more of a club feel. So cool, you man. know, good for you, Joe DeRosa. But, uh, so, what do you need the the people to do? I just, you know, I get a lot of messages from fan from the fans of the show here saying, "When are you coming to Boston?" I'm coming to Boston, February 26, Royale. Uh, tickets will be available online soon. I believe they're free. I don't know what the website's going to be called, but Google it, find it. I'll announce it on Twitter, so please come check that out. And uh, and then I'll be in Arlington at the Arlington Draft House this Friday and Saturday, and Caroline's in New York uh, the 7th and the uh, Thursday the 7th and Sunday the 10th, I think, are the two dates. Yeah. So uh, right. come out to those, man. Like, I just, you know, I want right. people to come Where do they go stuff. for all the Joe DeRose info? Because now I'm confused. <laughs> Is that too much? Did I say too much? A little much? too much. JoeDeRosaComedy.com. There you go. All your dates are there. JoeDeRosaComedy.com. But the important thing is the taping of the Comedy Central thing in Boston. Yeah. That's all you have to do. Yeah. Yeah. I think. Well, yeah. And Virginia and New York coming up for prep. All right. <laughs> yeah. Um, I had something. I forgot now. Something. Took our mind off abuse for a minute, right? Yeah, there. Mars. Jesus. Fucking self-indulgent plugs. That was actually good radio, but fuck, that's depressing as all hell. Wow, did you That's guys get hit? shit for a Monday. Did you get hit, Jim? I did, yeah, but not like that. Just normal stuff. Nothing yeah. abusive. Yeah. I mean, what's what? That's the thing now is like what defines what really defines abuse. Kids nowadays can go, you know, my mom slapped me in the face. I've been abused, and everybody will fall to their knees and and you know and 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 come to the kid's aid and. Well, mo but most of us know that's bullshit. Like, most of us know if a, mo if a kid says my mom slapped me once, most people are like, ah, shut up. Right. But we kind of know. But if you go to school with. If it's uh, a pattern of it, yes. If you go to school with spatula fucking marks on your hands, then then maybe call the authorities. Yeah, nowadays. I, I think we kind of know who's getting beat up okay. and who isn't. You, you can tell, like, just from our own experience, you know what feels right and what feels terrible. Uh, oh, I, I know what it was. I wanted to ask Iraq e about um, cereal milk. What's that? I, I fucking Instagrammed this yesterday. I, I thought it was a, just a throwaway picture, but people lost their fucking <clears throat> minds over it. We, we discovered something called cereal milk in my house yeah, over the weekend. What do you mean? Yeah. It's actually, it says on the container, cereal milk, and it's basically, you know when you, you finish your bowl of cereal and it's the, the milk, milk? Yeah. The milk that's left over is sort of kind of delicious, depending on what cereal you were eating. Well, now there's a product called cereal milk, and that's... That's the taste they're going for, the yeah. taste you get at the, after your cereal's done. It's just sugar. I'm sure it's sugar, right? Yeah, but it, it just it creeps you out when you drink it because it does taste pretty good, but then you, the first thought is, I think I'm drinking someone else's cereal milk. Yeah, that's nasty. Like they're getting uh, people to just you know eat bowls of cereal, and then they're just pouring the rest into these uh, containers. Yeah, that's disgusting. Yeah. That's it like, sounds what? disgusting, right? Yeah, put out a fucking... Because you feel like it, you're drinking someone else's yeah. uh, backwash. Could I have a little yellow viscousy backwash? Yeah, that'd be nice. <laughs> and look at the picture I, uh, I Instagram. You can see the shit at the bottom because you got to shake it up good. But that's the stuff that makes it into that's cereal milk. Fucking nasty! Isn't that fucked up? Yeah, what what milk a... did you get? What cereal? Uh, it it only comes in one flavor. And, and read the ingredients if you can, Sam. I was trying to get a close up so people could read the ingredients. Sugar, on this. poison, stomach acid. I, I think they use like cornflakes. This shit is so bad for you, man. Look at all those fucking ingredients. It is bad. It's cornflakes, but it's milled corn, sugar, malt. Oh, malt flavoring, mm -hmm. high fructose corn syrup, salt, iron, sodium. I, don't I like how you just skipped the one that you couldn't pronounce. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait. It's not going to do anybody any good if nin 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 tide is in it. Uh, vitamin C. Right. Vitamin B6. Fights cold, vitamin C. Vitamin C is good. Fights cold. Oh, yeah. Folic acid. Light oh, you brown need sugar, folic acid. Salt contains milk. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just wanted to ask E-Rock if he, he knows this product, because he knows about all the treats. No, I never heard of it, nor would I drink this. Why wouldn't you drink it? I don't even drink the the milk when I finish my own cereal. How about cereal cum? Out. Would you drink that? Maybe. <laughs> uh, it, it just is a weird product, because, like I said, you really just feel like 
Where are they getting this shit from? It, it's nasty. This, I, yeah, it's like... And it's they, like, got, they got another flavor, too. What? It's uh, pretzel milk. Shut the fuck up. Pretzel oh. milk. Yeah. Do people uh, drink milk with pretzels usually? No. no. Shut Absolutely up. Absolutely not. I Not-tears? swear to God, there's one called pretzel I never milk heard as of well, that. and it's little pieces of pretzel like... Dude, I'll fucking puke. Stop, <laughs> I man. swear That's to God, disgusting. man. They put it in ice cream now. What, pretzels? Pretzels, yeah. yeah that makes sense. That makes yeah. sense because you get the salty stuff. But, I mean, if you're, if you're getting a container of milk and it's called pretzel milk and there are pieces <clears> of pretzel <throat> in there... I guess it's the salt thing, you know. Everyone loves salt. That's fucking disgusting. Can you find pretzel milk? It's horrible. online. I, I can't pronounce uh, the place I went to. It's uh, I guess people know about it. It's some kind of Japanese company. Uh, we oh, call it mama. the milk bar. Yeah, Ew. mama. Yeah, there it is. Pretzel milk. What's the, that? What's the inside? What's wrong with that? What do you mean? Is that pretzel milk? A rare misstep. What? What's a rare misstep? Oh, the milk was bad. Oh, the oh. milk was bad. The pretzel milk was bad. What's in pretzel milk? Just pretzels and milk? No, a ton of shit just like in the other milk. The same shit. It looks like there's way well, more look, shit in pretzel milk. But you milk. have to shake it really good because all the pretzel shit is at Who the bottom. Who puts pretzels in milk? <laughs> uh, but look, when you think about it, that's almost like buttermilk. There's a salt milk flavor to it. That's what the attraction is for that. Yeah. It's a salty I thing. Yes, but I didn't think buttermilk was that hot. We, no, but I mean, but it's still like popular. It. I tasted the cereal milk. I hated it. To be honest with you, you did, and I didn't taste. Uh, I didn't taste the pretzel milk yet. I got it in my fridge. What cereal did it taste like? The end of? It was just over the top sweet, so kind of like maybe uh, fruity pebbles, something like that. One of those over fucking really disgusting, really sweet cereals. It has yeah. corn flakes. It's probably like frosted flakes or something. Oh yeah, like all right, yeah. If exactly, yeah, thank you. That's exactly the answer I should have said. Because the, the, the cornflake thing threw me off. But, right, they have all the sugar in there as well, so it's like frosted flakes. It would be fun to line up a bunch of different cereals with milk and then see which one tastes the most like the cereal milk. Yeah. You know? Like mm-hmm. sort of like a taster's choice kind of. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, guys? That's fun. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a hey, fun guys. Thing. Just trying to help make good radio. <laughs> Man, I'm trying to get us out of this fucking rut. It sounded like a bit. <laughs> no, this... <laughs> This car fucking went off the road with Mars' and shit. We're trying to get out of the, the fucking gully, man. Well, I just gave you a beautiful bed. All right, we can do <laughs> that. Yeah, get some cereal, some milks. <laughs> Mars is a tough guy, and we had him almost crying, and then I had to, I had to fucking bring it to everyone's attention. He was getting close to crying, and then that shut him down. You got excited. Um, I did get excited. I thought we were going to fucking see him cry. Do you want... I got a girlfriend now. Huh? You do? I got a girlfriend now. I want to talk about <laughs> Do you really? Like an actual girlfriend? Yeah. She had a big clit? <laughs> I don't know who she is. So it's okay. How long have you been with this girl, Joe? A few weeks. You want a girlfriend too, right? I did want a girlfriend. Yeah. Where'd you meet her? <laughs> Met her at a club, at a comedy club. Is she a comedian? Yeah, and a web chick. What's her name? No, Stay- it's, fuck you. Wait, she does webcam stuff? <laughs> she does webcam shit when you're not home? No, come on. Well, guys. you said web. You did web say web chick, stuff. Like a web chick, chick. Girl. but so, come on, guys. Let's come on. Web now. series, webcams. <laughs> what is she? What is she doing? I'm, I'm trying. Yeah, she's very pretty. Can we see her? Uh, I'll, I'll say her name on the air. Yeah, I'll, just, I won't say. You, it. Can you swear you won't say her name on the air? I, if I told you, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I. I, I wouldn't. I'm, I'm I, wouldn't I don't do that with. Producers. I'm not good at swearing. Yeah, no. Nah, You're gonna have to take my word for it. You know what? I'll show you my phone. All right. I won't. No, I don't do that with too, Joe. I'll give her some promo. How about a little trust? I won't blow up your personal. I won't blow up people's personal stuff. I don't say my own girlfriend. Do we know her? No, you don't know her. You sure? Uh, I'm pretty sure. I don't think you know her. All right. It's not. Uh... All right, show us a picture. I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm on my best behavior. She's a big thong bulge. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know her, so I can ask that. I've are, never seen her. Are you in love, Joe? I mean, I don't know her long enough to know if I love her, but I, I like her quite a bit. She's very, very sweet. Have you said you love her? No, 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 no. Does are she you, eat your ass? Too soon for that. Are you? Uh... That's her. She's very cute. Really? Yeah, she's very she cute. That's Rosa, her. Rosa, all right, what man. Up? Look at wow, you. What a delightful oh. girl. She looks very delightful. She's very sweet. She's very, very sweet. Good for you, Joe to Rosa. I How like her shit? quite a bit. How yeah. old? She is 27. How bad? Perfect age. Yeah, it is a perfect age. That's what I want. A nice girl in her mid-20s, she's... late 20s. I don't go lower than 27. That's well, my That's where we part company. I go down to 18. <laughs> <laughs> Let me rephrase that. I would hook up with younger than 27, but I wouldn't date younger than 27 because uh, it's yeah. too. Uh... My name is. Is that her? <laughs> oh, I thought we were doing something else now. Is that? 
That's her. Okay, yeah, yeah, I didn't know. No, so. no, no, yeah, but get this out All right, of here. X out of that. I don't <laughs> want to be tempted. <laughs> well, Sam did it. It's in huge letters. Sam She's got a it. website. You, you, you want to tell her you love her, right? Not yet. No, yeah, no, 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 no. No, I don't. You do. I Women don't. like it when you rush yeah. into that. Yeah. I don't, yeah. Are you worried Are you worried you're going to blow it? <laughs> tell her that. I'm no, worried no. I'm blow it. Are I you, love you. Are you barely holding it together? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, I don't are you barely it, holding it you. together? No. It's you know like you been do? the easiest relationship I've ever been right, Put grapes you. in your mouth like I have and just do Godfather impressions. <laughs> I just want you to know that I can't wait to eat your pussy again. <laughs> I can't wait to come in your mouth. <laughs> I can't wait for you to put a finger in my butt side. <laughs> so that's good for you. Yeah, it's nice. Last time you were here, you were all sad and shit. It's been really great. Good. We went food shopping last night. Man, that was a, it's that's a joy as when you're with somebody else. You're doing a terrible job of describing a good relationship. No kidding. <laughs> How long have you been with her? A few weeks. And now well, we didn't go food shopping like for the house. I mean, I was going to cook dinner, so we went and got the stuff together, and it was just nice. I haven't done that forever. What did you, you get? A couple steaks. Nice. She made an avocado thing. Nice. I get Delicious. You, right? She's telling a different story right now. She's probably <laughs> going, and that cheap fuck won't take me out to eat. We had to go food shopping. I went to the fuck. I went to Gristidi's. I wanted to go out to the porterhouse. He took me to Gristidi's. <laughs> Gristidi's. <laughs> Oh, you're in love, dude. Yeah. I like her a lot, man. Yeah. I like her a lot. Look at this. See, we're bringing the spirits up. I, I can relate to the shopping on a Sunday, so I can't beat you up. It's fucking beautiful. Especially in the early days of a relationship. You're like, all right, man, this is cool. It's just, Sunday's yeah. a chill day. Let's uh, like hang out. I went cook some steaks. Sh- watch oh. some TV. How, and how great see is, where this goes. How great is it when you're always sh- you're single and you're always shopping by yourself, and then the first time you go with the with the girl, and you're like. Oh, I'm going to go over there and get that stuff. You go over there and get that stuff. Aww. And we come back together and we got all our stuff. Yeah. And she comes back with condoms and you're like, what the fuck do you think you're doing? <laughs> get rid of these. <laughs> Not in my fucking shopping cart. <laughs> what kind of steak did you get? Uh, it was Sunday night. It was Slim Pickett's. What kind of steak? The, but I think we I got like rib eye or something. There wasn't, yeah, rib eyes, but there right. wasn't a lot left. All right, you like her then. I had to get like a bunch of small ones because they didn't have regular. If you, don't like, out. if you don't really like them, you go for the strip steak. What are you, <laughs> what are you, uh, what are you doing? A bunch of small steaks? Because they didn't have big ones because it was Sunday night. They exactly, take out. her out. Take her to the Yeah, at that point, you're bites. like, you know what? This was a good idea, but I don't want to I don't want to buy I, a couple. You ain't steak I, abortions. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants aborted steaks? Or why don't you get three? Three we steaks. Always, I did. I got a bunch. But we always we always go out, and we were last night we were like, We always just, go out. You've only been with her a couple weeks. We've gone out every time. Last night we were like, you know, let's just cook something, stay and watch a movie or something. That's what romantic. we wanted to do. It was nice. It was real romantic. All right. You what, know? Kind of, what kind of movie? We watched uh, Amadeus. <laughs> <laughs> Amadeus with tiny steaks. <laughs> Terrible day. With avocado <laughs> breath. Norton's face. Because <laughs> it sounds disgusting. horrible. It wasn't horrible. It's, you, it, come on, you know no, this is... No, hold on. on. From... <laughs> From an outsider looking in, it sounds horrible. It's really romantic. But you're in love, so you don't. You have the yeah. blinders on. We, Am- <laughs> Amadeus, fucking avocado, and I'm sure there was onions in there. No, there was tiny little steaks. That you what? stinks. <laughs> What'd you guys do? Well, we ate onion bulbs and watched Amistad. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Can I tell you what was in there? What, what were the sides for the steak? She made this thing. It was avocado, yeah. chopped up grape tomatoes, yeah. cucumber. Uh-huh. Uh, and it was a little bit of hot sauce and whatnot mixed in, and she put it on the like halal bread or whatever oh. with with roasted red peppers. It was fucking amazing. That on the side of a steak, I made a cheese platter with some olives for beforehand. And we turned on Amadeus. <laughs> we ate the food. We we fell asleep halfway through Amadeus. It was a great night. What kind of dessert? You just fell asleep. You didn't bang no. after. Uh, Have we you had pa- sex yet? We passed. We passed out. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Right after. Are you drinking? No, no, no. Oh. We weren't drinking. I don't know. Not at all. What kind of, uh, what, what nationality is she? White. But like Irish, Italian? Yeah. yeah, like white as hell, like Irish, English. Yeah, but that was a very ethnic dish she made, it seems. I know, it was very Spanish. It was very south Spanish of the border. Know, but... Any dessert? We didn't have dessert. No? We just kind of fell asleep, you know, in each other's arms. <laughs> Tell her you love her with all your heart. Why are you Deus? She wanted to see it. She'd never seen it. And yeah, what my baby that means you guys, get. But that means you guys, you brought it up. <laughs> huh? Why would you I mean, see Amadeus? It fucking rules. All right, but it's just weird that it would come up in conversation. 
I bought it because I wanted a copy of it, and I said, oh, I got this in the mail today, and she was like, oh, my God, I want to see that oh, so bad. Okay, that's how that worked. What time did you guys fall asleep watching Amadeus? Oh, like 12.30, because we didn't eat dinner till like, 10.30 or 11, I think. Okay. So we I need fell. to find a nice girl like Joe has. Not his girl, That'd but be I need nice, to find right? a girl like that. That would be yeah. nice on a Sunday. Someone who's kind of in the business but not going to, you know, hmm. do the same shit I do. Right. It was, it was, because it, it's hard to... It's hard, right? Because if you date just another full-time comic, there's, I don't know. I all of a like... sudden, all they want to ask you is, Jim, how do you come up with it? <laughs> <laughs> Rock me Amadeus. You know, Rock me Amadeus. That song's not in the movie. Rock me Amadeus. Yeah, it is. That's how the movie ends. By the way, you don't know because you fell asleep. It's the credits. We the passed credits. that at 1 a.m., and then uh, Travis called me at 5. And said, get your ass in He goes, in can here? you come in today? <laughs> But he calls. I love what Travis calls at five because he acts like he's just calling you at like three o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> well, that's... He's like, "What are you doing? Are you around?" You know, it's like, lunchtime for us, right? Yeah, now. I'm like, yeah, you I'm do around. know that, right? <laughs> is she still in your apartment? Uh, Waiting she for was, you to come back. She, she was there snuck out I... as soon as the fucking downstairs door closed. She got her stuff and got out. She got the hell out. Jeez. Yes, that's mean. Jim. No, it's not mean. She just wants to go home. That's real mean. That's where where is this crazy. relationship going, Joe? It's you gonna marry her. It's for real. I mean, she's my girlfriend. She's my girlfriend. Yeah, she's my girlfriend. So, you know, All right. I just, I'm just happy, man. I know, it's just weird. <laughs> You're like doom and gloom, too, usually when you come in here. No, man. You're good. You know, those days are behind me, guys. Well, that's good to know, Joe. <laughs> it's good to know. Good for you. Jimmy, let's get you, let's find you a nice girl. I've had a bad run. Yeah, Jimmy's having his little weird run right now. Yeah, I'm okay. I've right. had a very, very bad... And maybe you need a little time to yourself. I've been single for a year and a half. But you went from one to the other, right? A few yeah, in a row but, there? Yeah. No, I had... But I, yeah, but I don't... I wouldn't mind. I'm not obsessed with getting one, though. I don't know. Yeah. Most of them are boring. You know, like, most of the girls I've... Some, some nice girls I've talked to, but they just... It's like... Don't give me the um, you need a nice girl thing, like, because I'm, I'm, I'm not that guy. I'm a dirty guy. Like, I don't need a whore... But when people try to hold out, oh, you're going to have to, I just never call again. Right. If you think I'm working for you to say something sexual to me, I'll never call you again. Right. I don't have to fuck you right away. I'll wait. I'm in no rush. But if all of a sudden you won't give, like, if I ask you, like, you know, do you wear do you thongs? Uh-huh, uh -huh, so not yet. Wow, whatever happened to Jim? Never talked to him again. <laughs> You, know, you don't want to deal with that I'm shit. I'm 44. Fucking beat it with that coy shit. I hate it. Yeah. It's like if someone's coy, they will never turn me on. It's like, a no Never. Because coy, coy is, is, is somebody <sighs> trying to be sexual, and it's gross. I remember I, remember I saw Janet Jackson said once, she goes, there's nothing more embarrassing than somebody that's trying to be sexual. Yes, she was like, oh, she right. goes, I hope I never do that. I hope I just come off as sexy. Right. Yeah, she speaks the and truth. It's, it's, it gives you douche chills. Yeah, but that's what coy is to me, is like mm. somebody going, look, I'm being sexy, wink, wink. And it's just, it's gross. Man. Or they just don't like to rush it. Or they're, they're old school, and they think they're doing you a, like, it's a, well, let's see if you work for it. It's like, ugh. Mm. Yeah. I've paid way too much for way too long. to. Ha I don't mind, mm, again, not fucking you. But if you won't engage me in any type of sexual stuff, any type, right. of, even if it's just a little discussion that's I'm not even jerking off to, even if it's just I'm just kind of feeling each other out a little bit, if you won't do any of that, mm -hmm. I have zero interest in getting to know you. Mm -hmm. Zero. Well, you were, for a while, noise right? me. You, for a while, you were like a pretty, like, one girlfriend after the next, right? Or am I wrong? Uh, Weren't two you, in like, a row. No, it's two, just two? It's, yeah, and, and there, was a, there was a separation in between. The, oh, three, but one was very brief. Between two major ones. How long, collectively, were those relationships? Oh, oh, I'm, sorry. Um, I, I'm answering Jimmy's question. I'm an idiot. <laughs> sorry, Jimmy. No, it's okay. Four years total, four and a half years. It's yeah. not like it was a nine-year span or anything. Right, right, right. One yeah. time, though? That is long. I've, that's, I've never come anywhere near that. That's all over a couple, though. Wait, you've been single one... for over a year now, I think. A year ago, June. Oh, wow. A year and a half, then. Yeah. Is. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right. okay. All right. All right. And now that you got your fucking body back with the kettlebells, you're ready to go, man. Jimmy's ready to go. Yeah, he, you look great, dude. I'm Thank not, you. And, you know, you really do. Oh, I'm not just Joe. saying that. I'm serious. <laughs> the, uh, yeah, but it's, it's... 
Uh, any, any, <clears throat> what you're saying about the sexuality thing, the coy thing, I think that goes for any aspect of a relationship with a girl. I can't stand any sort of like holding anything hostage for me at all. Yeah. Really, really bugs me. It's, it's it, women that won't talk about their age, women that won't talk about personal life, you know, anything that where they go, oh, that's, it's just like, come the fuck on, man. Jesus Christ. Can we just act like grown ups for Christ's sake? It makes me nuts that someone thinks they're going to use that and hold, I'm not, again, I'm not saying fuck right away. I don't mean give me everything right away. But that whole thing where they won't do anything really sexy, mm -hmm. and it's like, I'm just, I'm, what do you think? I'm gonna go out with you five times and then hopefully get a good night blowjob? Fucking forget it. Because that's their number in their head? Yeah, who the fuck needs to do that? Instead of just going with whatever's, you know, happening around. Fucking, you. it's like, they, they, people wonder why you buy blowjobs, because it'll cost you 200 bucks. How much is five dinners gonna cost you? Right. It's not even a money issue, but the point I'm making is people think it's crazy to, and, and the fact that she makes you work for it, like, that much, you couldn't be perverted. Mm -hmm. You couldn't be dirty you know, if that's what you think the appropriate uh, you, way you to find, go about it You don't it find is. any fun in, in the fact that they make you work for it? No. On zero. Ze complete zero. Not that they should fuck me right away. I don't mean that. Right. I don't mean they shouldn't wait. But that whole, catch me if you can, fella. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fuck you. Uh, yeah, it's, it's like you're not going to be dirty enough for me. Right. Like, dirty can be, I'm not fucking you for a month, but at least know how to talk sexy or text me something sexy. Or, you know, anyone that will never, if you never text a photo of yourself to a guy, eat shit and have a car accident. You make me sick. You know what really turns me on? And it's, 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 Exactly. I think Jimmy's in the big leagues, is what it is. Yeah, he's I'm in the just majors. A dirty well, guy. He doesn't want to deal with that shit. I think this is kind of what you're saying. Um, but is it? Hold on, before you say what. You, but uh, that means there's not a lot of girls out there for you. No, there's not. Um, you know that though, right? Yeah. Because that's not. I don't think that's the norm. It's frustrating because. That, that really just uh, narrows the old uh, dating pool for uh, Jimmy Norton. Yeah, it does. It really does, but I hate when girls think they're dirty and they're not. Mm -hmm. and, and again, by I don't mean I'll say it again and again fellas. and again. We yeah. have a commercial on our stupid channel, fellas. She's trying to talk sexy. And oh, I can't stand that horse shit. Fellas. It's well, it, it, oh. what keeps me and what really keeps me interested. And this is the opposite of coy, I, and it's what you're saying. It's like being sexual, but having a line is fine. Like if I'm with a girl, and we're fooling around and it's getting like very, very heavy, you know? Right. And then she goes, All right, we should we should stop. We should stop. Right. You know, I think that's I that's fine. I, I love I that. I think that's kinda gives, hot, to be yeah. honest with you. Yeah, it gives you some. I mean, it's a fine to. line. You don't wanna like find a girl that you're making out, next thing you know, she she gets on all fours and opens up her asshole for you either. You don't want that, right? But I mean, there's the, the, take yeah. them out to dinner next time and see when they're ordering food. Right. And she goes, ah, no, we shouldn't we shouldn't get a main course. No, they only hold out when it comes to putting their ass in your face. But I think it's kind of hot when it gets really crazy and they're like they're trying with yeah, all their might to hold back. That's, well, there's something really hot about that. That's that's what I'm saying. And I'm, you don't find that hot at all, Jimmy? I don't. No, I don't mind that. Yeah, I, I'll actually have hold a good back old myself school uh, makeout session, and yeah, yeah that's and, fine. And you're ready to go, and she's like trying her hardest to calm you know calm the situation down. That that can be really hot. No, well, I'm yeah. sure it can be, but that's not your thing at well, all. But that's no. I'm yeah. saying that kind of that kind of falls under the umbrella. What you're saying is it's not. You're saying you don't care if you have to wait. Just be sexual. Or be. Yes. That's what I'm saying. Like you. That's in, that's a good example. Of, yeah, but what we're talking about, Joe, that's very sexual. What's going yeah, on? Yeah, that's agree. my point. I'm saying like that's a good example. Of what he means is like that's making you wait, but it's still a turn on, and it's not her being coy. I, and she doesn't have to be a whore. I don't mean that. But that. Well, shit, that's what I said about the fine line. So you know, it, it's a balancing act. Women under thirty. What I've noticed are much more likely to text you a photo. And again, it doesn't have to be their pussy or anything. But women over 30, you've been fucked. You're way too stuck in the class of 90 where you think that a guy is going to take you out five times before seeing your underpants. I have zero interest in doing that. Zero. Because you'll never be able to own me sexually. Like, you want a woman who can own you. Like, literally who just who makes you want to fuck her. And it's like, I'm tired of making myself want to fuck. So many of these girls are boring and you got to turn yourself on. I got to play with my own nipples or I got to fantasize about something dirty or talk really dirty because they can't do it.
But it, but is it, that's interesting. But is that a challenge for most girls, as far as you're concerned? Not if she's genuinely dirty. Not right. if she's genuinely sexy. Right. No. So so she could do basic shit and get you going. My ex girlfriend knew exactly how to own me. See, I don't. I don't I, sexually. I've never understood that nipple. Thing. I mean, no, it doesn't oh, have God. to be a nipple, but it can but be. But I never understood that. Like it just it zones me out. I like it. I've had that, I, I've had girls in the past, and I'm like, Ugh, this no, is not your thing. Yeah. No, it's not my thing at all. You like your uh, nipples play with Joe? Uh, uh, nipples, yeah. I like when a chick bites him. I, I mean, I could take it or leave it, but I do like it. My ear is the big thing. If a chick starts going on my ear, it's like, I'm like fucking... <laughs> what are you, a 12-year-old girl? Well, wait, you know what? Why is my thing shit? Why is not... my thing shit? It, it's not that far that... off from the nipple. We're I think that's more about... of a girl thing, though. A lot of girls get turned on when you start kissing Look, their fucking ears. We all know ears. I'm half a fag. We've established that in this fucking room sorry, many Joe. times before. You know what, Joe? You're right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I don't even know Joe. if it's half a fag. I think you've shot way past Marvin Gardens. <laughs> if, a girl, if a girl knows how to work your ear the right way, yeah, it could absolutely be pretty fucking hot. But, uh, but what, yeah. what part of the ear? The earlobes, Joe? Dude, dude the sticks, sound of a... When she sticks your, her tongue in your ear and you hear the, like it's the fucking ocean. You like that? I, and then she whispers, it'll be okay, sweetheart. <laughs> yeah. No, tell me, but tell me something. There's nothing hotter to me if you're if you're fucking a girl or if you're just whatever, fuck, fooling around, whatever it is. If a chick has her fucking mouth on your ear and is saying filthy shit. Oh, yeah, that's good, boy. It's the hottest When you get a sloppy, wet tongue in your ear and it's just, oh, she, I love just, it. she just keeps it in there. You're like, Jesus. I love it, man. I'll tell you what's yeah. hot. When a girl sits on your face mm -hmm. and she says, no, no, just, just sniff it. Just smell it. And then she plays with your nipples. That's You're fucking hot. You're not going to find many girls... That will do that. I know. <laughs> I guess that's a lot your of problem. I guess a lot of girls don't like. Nice I'm, not, I'm not saying. I'm not saying you're wrong, but that's my point. Like, you're just not going to find a lot of girls that will do that. Oh, God, I'm so. That's why I'm so bored with most of them. I'm bored. I oh, remember man. saying to a friend of mine when we were first out of college and we first got like, um, you know, Ethernet or whatever it was, internet. We were able to really watch a lot of porn for the first time, and I was talking to my roommate. And you guys I would said, watch the porn together? Well, we would watch it separately and masturbate sep together afterwards. Oh, okay. We get aroused in separate rooms and then come well, together. Well, this is the one that turned me on. Yeah. Let me see which one turned you on. But when we first started being able to actually feed a lot of porn in the house and watch it, I said to my friend, I remember going, I want that. And he, and my roommate goes, What, the what penis? The penis in the porn? You know what? Well, it was too vague. I'm I'm not have to ask, try I to have to ask follow-up questions. I won't try to tell the stories anymore. It's my job to ask follow-up questions. You said, I want that. What does that mean? The balls? The chick. <laughs> what part of the, the chick? The dirty fucking. What part the of it? The dirty fucking. The sex. I wanted, I was like, I want to fuck girls like that. And my friend went, that's fantasy. And I go, it's not fantasy. I go, the fact that the guy comes in and acts like he's there to repair the refrigerator is fantasy. But there are girls out there that want What part of the fucking that you said I want? Just that were like, bent, I need your cock in my mouth. I'll lick your ass. Dirty girls, yeah. Just filthy fucking. You know what I mean? Gotcha. But like... He was like, that's fair. I was like, it's not fucking fantasy. There are girls out there that like to do shit like that. But that's the type of thing. That's a, almost a woman thing to say what he said. Yeah. Oh, well, if you want a porn girl, yes. I don't need a girl who does it for a living. Sorry. I want a girl who sucks my dick and talks a little dirty. What do you want to do? Just lay there with your fucking dishpan hands and your fucking apron on while I stick it in quietly? Boo. Yeah. That makes me so angry. Yeah. I it hate sucks. it. Hate it. That's why porn is popular, you dumb women. If you if you did that stuff, no guys would need porn. Right. But most of you don't. I don't know. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm gonna get my hair cut into a short little bob cut. <laughs> and you wonder why he's out fucking jerking off in strip clubs. I feel like I'm uh, listening to Jim Norton's advice show. Makes me crazy. You should it's talk true. about this on your advice oh, show. I have. Wednesday. Uh, yes. And I will. I'll continue. Continue to discuss it. Cause I true. hate that shit. And too many, too many women equate uh, filthy behavior with a lack of respect. And it's yeah. like, no, well, they're brought up that way. Yeah, you it's know, crazy. with guys, we're high five, like, all right. But you know, with girls, it's completely different. So they don't know what the fuck to do. They probably want to do half that shit, but how they were raised, they they're, they're holding back. I remember one time this girl, um, this girl sent me all these pictures of her pussy, like like the pic. It was like a picture of her pussy, and there was like a picture of her with a finger in her pussy, whatever, you know. And uh, 
I showed a girlfriend of mine. I just go, hey, check this out. I, I That's why half the girls don't want to do that. You know, and I'm laughing. Because they don't want your pictures. Was? They don't it want was, their pictures passed it was around. A fucking random vag. I didn't go, here's her name and address. I just fucking showed. <laughs> yeah. But as a goof, I was like, I go, hey, check this out. I show it to a girlfriend of mine right. to, like, surprise her. And she goes, ew, ew, ew. And I was like, you stink. Exactly. And I, I kind of yelled at her. I go, really? Ew. Mm. Ew. It's it w- a fucking ew. The anatomy. Ew. Go fuck yourself. Like, but you wonder why guys don't want to hang out with you. Right. You wonder why we don't want you around when we're having a good time. That's why. If she could just go, oh, that's kind of a weird looking pussy. But right. don't act ew. Oh, yuckaroo. You got, you got <laughs> He's off. dead. <laughs> He's <laughs> dead, yeah. You got friends that are girls? Uh, yeah, I have a that's few. That's a very rare thing. Was uh, it a big pussy that you showed her? No, it was a beautiful, tight, that means there's pussy. That, was, that means that's a yuck pussy. Nah, you beat me to it. You don't like it. You don't like them like that, right? Jimmy, you like meaty. Like yeah. Sloppy, but it's also hard. Like I'm so genital obsessed, which is part of my addiction. It's hard to find a girl when you like. Like I, if you like, it's a quality I like. It's like if you like tall people, that's acceptable. Or if you like blondes or sure. brunettes, I happen to like that on a woman. That's fine. How many ways have you described the uh, the sloppy pussy at this point? Because every time I see you, you, you got a, a new way to describe it. Yeah, it's been a lot, dude. How many do you think you got? <laughs> I don't know. Just tr- tremendous. Dozens. I, I think I'm forgetting some, yeah. But that would be know. a great table, uh, a table, uh, coffee table book. Ways of describing the Just person. a little, yeah, that would be hilarious. <laughs> With animation. <laughs> I don't mind a, uh, I don't mind Wait, a, wait, wait, wait. Oh, so you, uh, yeah, you, uh, so you could be friends with girls? Because yeah, that's kind of rare. I have several girlfriends. But do you want to have sex with those girls? Um, I mean, not actively. I mean, I, you know, I, I recognize that they're attractive, but I also recognize that they're just friends. I mean, look, a lot of them are girls I dated. Nikki Glazer and I dated for a little while, and, and we've, we're, we've since become very good friends, and we work together. We did a web series together, like, and we're really good friends. Like, and it's... I that rec- crash you just heard was Nikki throwing herself out the window <laughs> of, the, of the MTV building <laughs> as her new show premieres. When, when is the show premiere? we got to get her in here. I think Tuesday. I actually reached out to her. Oh, really? I think tomorrow. Oh, yeah. fuck. Then she should have been on today. Yeah. Uh, Roland, you got to get a hold of Nikki Glaser. I forgot to give you her address. She, she emailed me, actually. She's great, she man. definitely have her He on. just pitched them to us. Who? Nikki and her partner. Yeah. For tomorrow? No, but for this week or something. Oh, okay, good. All right, so so it's being taken care of. Good. I just want to make sure uh, we were doing the right thing. They're both great. I'm friends with both of them. They're both great. But, I mean, it's, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, I recognize that Nikki's a very attractive girl, but it's like I don't actively want to pursue her. You know what I mean? So. I don't have any friends that are girls. You know, it's just kind of one of those things, you know. You have friends that are girls? I do, yeah. But I'm it, really weird with isn't female. It, isn't it tough? Don't you want to have sex with them? No. Female comedians. Um, I dated one at one point. And then sometimes I'll think they're sexy, but very rarely is female comedian energy sexy to me. And it's not because I don't admire them. It's because I like a funny woman. But, like, you know, women will see a guy who's funny and they'll go, that's a sexy quality to me, the guy who can make me laugh. I think that's a fun quality, but I don't associate that with a sexy quality. Right. Like, it doesn't, like, because guys make me laugh. Like, you know, my friends all make me laugh. So if a woman makes me laugh, I kind of see her in a friendship. So women, women, female comics are like the one group of women that I can hang out with and really enjoy their womanness and not try to fuck them. Because they're in your business. Yeah, I Yeah, like we that. have a real... Co- like, I That's sit like, with them... But that would be like me having uh, women radio hosts as friends. Yeah, but would you yeah. travel with them, though? Like... No, oh, I, I don't... Uh. Yeah, but it's different because... The, here's the difference. No, I know it's different. That's why I'm bringing it up. Yeah. But it's I mean... totally different. Yeah, it's like if you had a... There's it, more respect for uh, females in, in stand-up than uh, respect for women in radio. But I but I also think a sign from that is, just, it, like, if every day you had, for some reason, you had to go eat in the serious cafeteria and actually just sit around and hang out with these people, I think you might have a different perspective uh, on it. Yeah, Because that's di- a lot of it. You, we're hanging out in the clubs all the time. Yeah, I don't disagree with you on that. You know? Actually, I've, I've had some, you know, good conversations with uh, women that do radio. You're right, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it's... But I, I'm know. not around as much as you guys. No, but I, I like it. I have, I have a lot, a lot of women friends in the business. A lot of them are on the industry side of it, but... All right, so take that nice. out. The, do you have uh, women that you're friends with that aren't in the business? I bet you the answer is no. Um, just my friend's wives, but no, not really. That's no. Yeah, yeah I, I know that doesn't really any. count, but... No, 
No. I Let guess me, not, no. We got a dirty girl on the line here. Uh, Vanessa in Oklahoma City. Vanessa. Hello. Hey. Hi, Vanessa. Uh, Hi. Just, uh, just to set you, set it up here, I'm a dirty girl, and when I start to discuss it with guys, they tend to freak out. Yeah, it's like I'll be dating someone for a while, and they will watch porn, or they're into it, and then you start to say, like, or I'll start to say, you know, I, I'm totally into that, I will do this stuff like that, and then, like, no phone calls afterwards. We'll be dating, like, a month. Oh, okay. So I, I guess women deal with it from the other end where you, you find guys want the nice girl and the dirty girl to watch in porn. Okay. Yeah, but they say they want the dirty girl. And, like, I'm a pretty, like, I'm a really good girl. I'll cook for you. I'll do all that good girl stuff, too. But when it comes to, like, being in bed, it's time to get freaky. And what do dirty. you like that's, what, what do you like that they get a little freaked out by? Well, I, I will totally lick an ass. I... Like, one of the guys that I dated a long time ago would let me, you know, use strap-on. and That's hot. And He'd let you peg him, as we say? He, he, he let you peg him? <laughs> Is it called peg? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm totally into, like, pretty much everything, Jimmy, that you say that you're into, I will totally do. With no questions asked. Want to do that? Sure, let's do it. But then the guys are like, oh, no, it's just kind of something I just want to, you know, jack off to. I'm not really into it. Okay. Mm. I don't know, and it freaks them out, and I don't get it. Like, how, like, why are you going to sit there and jack off to it? But when you have a girl here in front of you that wants to do everything that you're jacking off to, it freaks them out. How old are you, Vanessa? I'm 28. See? Under 30. Right. She's a troop. Not that girls over 30 aren't dirty, but I've, I've found lately that they're, maybe because younger women grew up with more computer access, so stuff is less shocking to them, or things yeah. move faster now. But I just yeah. find that. I think, yeah, I think part of... The gener of the generation of being young now is because of, like you said, with the internet access and everything, I think part of it is intense sexuality yeah. versus the generation before where it was like a little more keep your legs crossed and, right. and you know, be, res you know, it was more women's live driven, you know what I mean? But, uh... Are you pretty? I'm, I'm actually really pretty, yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, you got a Facebook? I do have a Facebook. All right, hold on a minute. We're putting you on hold. It's Don't, for, we, we won't it's, ask you to say it on the air. Yeah. We'll say it all. We won't I'll, say your I'll, name on air. Unless you want um, people to... Oh, no. All right, hold yeah, on a minute. Hold on a minute. Yeah, just give it to your rock <laughs> off the air, Vanessa. Fucking <laughs> okay, Jimmy rules. Well, you don't want to, you know... Sorry. Just all those fucking creeps going there. Speaking of Facebook, uh, you got a Facebook, Joe? Yeah, why? Did you? Did I what? Did you? Did I what? Change your status? Oh no! I have a fan. I just have a fan page, oh, so there's no status you, listed on you it. Didn't write in but I would have. Oh, hope. Hope. I would have. Right. Where's our computer guy? I don't, I don't oh. know. There's no one at the computer. She made it such a good point, though. Can you, can you, uh, wait, we got some, some, send someone in here. Yeah. Is she still on the phone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah, she's still on the phone. Okay, hold on, Vanessa. We got Sal who's gonna look you up. All right, All right Vanessa. So we're looking up your Facebook uh, page here. Yeah, it's well, a picture. Hold on, hold on. All right, hold on, hold on. Let me see, take a look. So now, are you single, Vanessa? I am single. Oh, what do you do in Oklahoma City? I uh, I do dentistry, and then I'm also <laughs> I'm going. To <laughs> Wait, hold on a minute. That's supposed to hurt. Wait, you're a you're a dentist? No, I'm a dental assistant, but I'm I'm going to school to get my bachelor's for science so I can do embalming. All right, bombing. But, oh, what a good girl. Oh, wow. I, I, I'm sorry. Uh, what a maniac. I started laughing uncontrollably because <laughs> the first Facebook page that came up that Sal's trying to find you was uh, an old lady. Really no. old lady. No, How? I'm not an old lady. You can't find it? Why can't Sal find your Facebook page? He's doing something wrong. I don't wrong. know. I don't have any, like, blocks on it or anything. What is your, what is your picture of on the front page? It's uh, me and my son. The picture of me and my son. You and your son. Okay. <laughs> Wait, is, is, is he wearing red? Uh, no, he's like over my shoulder. Yeah. He's like, he's a picture of me. And oh, he's very. Oh, he's very cute. So, um, now what happened to the son's uh dad? Six. Tops. Uh, he went crazy Tops. and he tried to kill me. Six. He tried to kill you? Why? Yeah. Oh. Uh, I seven. don't know. He was all like That's jumped seven. out on math and went crazy. Wow. How old are you? How old's your son? Seven. My son is two. I'm actually walking him into his. Be nice. Take care, lady, right now. <laughs> oh, he's very cute. Oh, he's kissing you there in that picture. He's a he's, sweet he's boy. He's an adorable boy. Yeah. Oh, a little cleavage in the black and white shot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Vanessa. Well, thank you. You're very, uh, you're very cute, and uh, you know, obviously very dirty. So, uh, yeah. <laughs>
Good luck with your bachelors. I, I, we need more dirty girls like Good you. Good luck with your next pegging. Yeah, good luck with yeah, your next strap on pegging. Oh, whoa, you got whoa. some. Wait, you got ample boobies in this shot with the fluorescent green uh, tank top on. Yeah, I'm very big. You're, you're, re you're uh, leaning over and we see a lot of cleavage. Those yeah, are well. big cans. Those are big boobies. Yeah. What, are we, what are we looking at? Yeah. We're looking at these, I guess? Yeah, these. Mm -hmm. And then, she, 38 day. She made 38 day. I like the point she made though about like you know guys talk a good game, but then when they get into bed they whatever. It's you know half of the problem of this is what we're what we're talking about here is it's the fault of the men. Like guys have to stop being such selfish pussies when and hypocritical pussies when it comes to this shit. You know it's like it's like man the fuck up. Take what comes along with the territory. If you want this kind of thing, then 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 take this kind of thing. But you got to take the fucking there's a few lumps that come along with any path you take. You know sure, what I'm under the arms. <laughs> <laughs> a little lymph node <laughs> joke. All right, Vanessa. <laughs> Bye, Vanessa. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you, so, Julie, I love you. Thank you. I love you, too, and your giant bosoms. Thank you. To put my penis between them, make a grunting noise. <laughs> I would totally love it. <laughs> thank you. All right. Bye. What, All was right. It? what was it, the kid? Well, no, she's, just, she's in Oklahoma City, first of all. But she has a, a son... <clears throat> you were in, and then all of a sudden you're like, oh, all right. Well, no, I just wanted to see what she looked like, and she was cute. Um, but no, I don't, I'm weird with, with people with kids anyway. I just see them. Not that I see them differently. They're dirty. I could still, but, you know, but she lives in Oklahoma. She's a, a, going to be a, a fucking embalmer in Oklahoma. <laughs> <laughs> she wants to work on dead people. <laughs> Better than being a bomber in Oklahoma. <laughs> yeah, I suppose so. I well, make suicide vests <laughs> right. for a federal building. Wait, she's going to fucking embalm? Embalming, yeah. I didn't hear that. Wow. Yeah, she said embalming. I why why would you listen. go into that? She wants to peg somebody. She wants to peg something, somebody and, and hang around with dead people. I wouldn't mind being pegged. Really? Have you ever been that pegged? Not nah, completely. It's had a few I, I did make a, a, a real cummy like that once. Getting <laughs> pegged a little bit while being jacked. <laughs> fucking just like a fucking animal. <laughs> so it was amazing. <laughs> it was like amazing. A good pegging. I yeah. had no idea that it was called that. Yeah, good today. pegging. How big was the dildo that got in there? It didn't get in far. Uh, I'm going to guess it was like seven inches or something, but it couldn't go in nowhere near that. A teeny bit. Did it, it look like a fist? fist or? No, no, the fist, no. It looked like a dick. Like a, a, a white <laughs> hanging dick on her. Yeah. She looked sexy, though. She was really sexy with it. I don't understand the lesbians that have the strap-ons that look like penises. Why? Because I, I thought they didn't like penises. No, they hate the men. The cocks are fine. It's, the, it's like, what's attached to them. So they, they like the, yeah. they, the, do they like the look of a penis, but they don't like what it's attached to? Sure. I would think the lesbian community by now would have figured out another, like, shape for them. I don't know if it's that they like the look of the penis. I think that it looks that way, and that gives it a certain feeling. Yeah, but you would think there's a market out there to come up with a different sort of shape. There, Obviously, it's going to be... There's tons of different things. Yeah, but uh, yeah, a lot of the lesbians, they do the uh, the penis strap. Because it's like, there's only so many options physically. Like, do we like the shape of a vagina? No. It looks like a fucking rotting piggy bank. How can you like the... <laughs> <laughs> That's a new one. I don't think you've ever used that one before. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? It's, <laughs> yes, I do. Uh, <laughs> how does a piggy bank rot, though? I don't know. That's the amazing part of it. You left your piggy bank out in the sun too long. It's just fucking... Maybe it was made out of wax. A wax piggy bank. A wax piggy bank. <laughs> Jesus but that would be stupid because then you'd break into it too easy. Uh, I mean, I don't know. It's fucking, You like uh, Vanessa there, know, Joe? She's cute. You know? But I got a girl yeah. these days, man. You know, so... I'm off the market, Ope. I'm out of the fucking game. In a relationship. I'm in Joe a... Rosa. I'm in a ship. Two weeks? Ship is... No, longer than that. Two months? Yeah, about a month. About a month? Yeah, not not very long. Did you have the official... Oh, uh, uh, can you be my girlfriend? I did. You did? Did you give her your sweater? I did. I gave her my sweater. <laughs> Isn't it easier to just kind of <laughs> let it just... It, where it gets to the point where both just know that? Uh, I... I don't think I had that conversation. Uh, it got it got pushed forward a little quickly, um, but I just said to her one day, I just go, look, we we know we're we know we're dating each other. We know we're not dating other people. And I go, let's just not 
play this sort of ambiguous game for another month. I go, it's dumb. I go, I've dated a lot of girls. I know I want you to be my girlfriend. I know I like you. And if you want to do that with me, let's do it. But, it, I mean, let's not do At this. At least it was romantic. Yeah, no kidding. Let's do it. Yeah. What are we buying well, that I said night? It, I Shitty said it a chicken. little more genteel uh, like, than that. It's like but... Rocky's fucking wedding right. proposal. <laughs> I was wondering if you ain't busy for the next 60 years if you marry me. It's, uh, I, I was a little more chicken genteel. parts. <laughs> when you yeah, had conversation. Chicken, yeah. Yeah. I said, listen, go get me a half pound of Alpine yes. lace. Get some giblets. And yeah. Some, and, and I want you to be my girlfriend. Yeah. 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 I'll grab the cream corn. Right. You meet me at the ring aisle. <laughs> so what happened? You said to him, what'd she say? Besides, like, Ugh. She was like, are you, sh- uh, she, she was hesitant for a second. She goes, I, I go, she goes, I'm a little hesitant because I don't know if you really mean this or not. And I said, I mean it. I go, trust me. It's, uh, I, I've been out there being single for so long, and I know I don't want to do it anymore, and I know that you're everything I want in a girl that I would want to date. So You guys got matching tattoos? What do you got? Um, Nothing matching yet, man, but I think I'm going to let her peg me. <laughs> Will she do it? No, I don't know. You don't, don't know. know? You already asked her to be a girlfriend. You're going to know? <laughs> you got to know a checklist. Into, yeah, you got to know if she's into pegging or yeah. not. What's wrong with you? I don't know. It hasn't come up yet. <laughs> <laughs> How long did you have sex? We've been together, yeah. Is that a yes or no? Yeah. So you didn't actually fuck, but you just fought no, no, no. We've oh yeah, fuck. You can say we've it. had sex. That's fine. It's I a month. Like, is that like me? No, but some people. No, it's like a month. Personal. No one knows who she is. Oh yeah, you're right. No, you're but right, in right. all fairness, some people don't want to discuss that. I never care, know what the care. line is with this shit. So, and I've gotten in trouble before, and I don't. know. Since no one knows who she is, right? It's fine. It's except sure because you, it, it, if we all knew her, it'd be a little weird. But I don't know who she is. I don't even know her last name. You showed me a picture of her. I don't remember. I wouldn't know her. I know her name. Can I tell? No. She's very cute. Oh, off the air you could tell him, but not oh. on the air. Oh, oh stop! Come oh. on, don't don't stop today. <laughs> is it meaty? Is it meaty? Joe, that I'm not gonna say. After all these years, you should know where my line is. I know your line. I'm, I would. I swear to you, I would never do that. I know. I just like that's play, where my line really I like is. Playing into it. I do have I'm a line. It. I know. I like playing into no, it. No, you're a little nervous. The, no, no, no. I like doing. Okay. The, come on. Right. 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 It's it's like our rapport all right. now. All right, fair enough. Um. But yeah, it's it's. Wait, what was the last question, Jimmy? Peggy was beady. <laughs> but you don't want to say that. Fair enough. I, okay. that. <laughs> I understand that. I ask, I don't get bad. At least he's judge trying. My <laughs> yeah, he's I respect your limits are. You know. <laughs> and if I knew her, I wouldn't actually ask that. Your question. limits are a good steak. Is you know, I, we get it. Small steak. Small <laughs> small steak. Small steaks with, a, with a little fat on it. Separate sides of the grocery store. <laughs> yeah, I like it. I like it. What else did you buy at the grocery store yesterday? We got all There's the st- whole list. We got all the stuff for dinner, and so I got lunch some... meat for the week. Yeah, you guys are gonna eat lunch meat together? No, no, no. I got it for my house for myself. Yeah, but she'll be there. She's not gonna be there every day. But, but yeah. she'll be there for a big, Ooh. big. Boy, is she gonna realize what a mistake she sandwich. made when you're in your underpants smoking, saying, "Honey, could you make me an olive loaf on wheat?" <laughs> 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 yeah, what does the Joe Rosa eat? What's your lunch meat? I got, of choice. Oh, Jesus, got lightheaded. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, I got... Uh, a little I got, buffalo chicken? No, I got ham and cheese. Ham and American cheese. You know what? You're a fucking American. White American cheese and little ham. ham. little Swiss mayo or, or you go mustard. You know what I'm doing this week? Wow. I'm doing the roll-ups. No bread. I'm just going to do the up. roll-ups. Do you throw the pickle in there? I got a side of baby carrots. I got some pickles. Carrots. I'm ready to you, fucking go. You wrap that shit around a good fucking pickle and you're good to go. I do. I do the pickle. And then you do a little dip into some mustard maybe? But I do a carrot on the side. Oh, God, Joe. Why? Trust me. crunch. I like it. You trust me. You put the carrot right on your fucking tongue, right there, like a little cock, and you fucking eat it up. It's good. What the fuck is going on, Sam? What's he talking about? The carrot. I get it. (laughs) (laughs) You eat the carrot. I'm saying you eat the carrot on the side. That's why I drink carrots. Was that? I know that bit just fucking bombed. Whatever. Well, I got it. I was just trying to make a cock joke. I thought it was going to go a little farther. Let's bring Mars back in. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. You eat the carrots on the side instead of like chips or something. You know what I mean? Why is this dude fucking uh, shirtless on SNL? He loves being naked. Who is he? That's Adam Adam Levine Levine from from, uh, Marine 5. No, from from that show. Yeah, that's The Voice. Yeah, but it's he's from Maroon 5. No, I know, but he's from The Voice. He's way more famous for being on The Voice he's than from Maroon 5 at this point. No, Maroon no. Were you kidding? Maroon I 5 no, is the reason the he's on The Voice. No, yeah. no, they don't. What's they, the song? They, no, The Voice is one of the biggest TV shows. Maroon 5 is a little fucking side thing. That's, I know. What's the name of the, I know what, this shit. What's their big song? 
exactly. This a lot love of... is breaking my heart. Oh mm. yeah. Oof, that song. Sounds awful. And then moves like Jagger. That's yeah, moves like Jagger song. was massive. Oh, that was those guys. Yeah. How's yeah, that man. go? A lot of hits. Eric, you know that song, and I know. Yeah, I don't even. I don't even know if I've ever. This was a huge song. Yeah. It's still. It's still a big song. Yeah, it is. Payphone was a big song. No, it wasn't. I don't know if I'm gonna take your word for it. Uh, turn it up. All right, turn it down. Yeah. Joe DeRosa, where are you gonna be, buddy? Uh, this weekend, Arlington Draft House in Virginia. Uh, next week, seventh and tenth at Caroline's, New York City, and then the big one is February 26, Boston at the Royale, taping my new half-hour special please come everybody and what supermarket will you be at this week i'll be at a You're supermarket stick with Christides? it's called uh, joe derosa comedy.com it's a nice new Christides. supermarket check it out <laughs> do you at least go to whole foods uh, i go to i have a morton fairway? williams in my neighborhood and a fairway so i go to one of those go to the fairway you know i keep forgetting the fairways there they just put it in they Side just away. put it in five we- five blocks away from my place and i forget that it's there you're doing your special on the 26th of february it's a tuesday yes okay yes so we can't come on a tuesday I would have went there to support you. You would have went to Boston? Yeah, I love Boston. Would you have made the trip? I love Boston. All right. I'm just, I don't... Any excuse to get to Boston, I... Come I, up I, when I, I shoot, then. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shoot uh, sometime in uh, April. I'll be there. So you're doing another special? I want to do an hour, Fucking yeah. great, man. Yeah, I'll be there for Jim Norton in Boston. That's what I'll do. Yeah, I didn't really have much of a choice of picking the day. So... Are Tuesday. you doing it with someone else? Well, it's it's just the half hour series, so it's like they you know. But why do they pick a Tuesday? Shooting. It's just harder for people to get out. I th- think it'll be fine. Yeah. Uh, it will be. It'll be. They, they they yeah. For TV tapings, people are weird. Like they that's pretty common. They they they, they Wait, it's a Comedy Central taping. Yeah, it's for Comedy Central. All right. You are not coming anyway. No, I'll tell you why I'm not going. Because it's in Boston on Tuesday. Because <laughs> the audience falls asleep as the stupid fucking people try to get the uh, the audience to look perfect. I hate that shit. I'm not even joking anymore. What? I'm done with Comedy Central tapings. What's the matter? I've supported all you guys. You you sit there, and then you wait almost an hour as they go, well, no, the guy with the beard, he's uh, too close to the Asian broad, so let's move the Asian broad over here. It's a nightmare. It'll be fine. I'm talking. Don't worry. You'll, you're still fine. But I got to entertain the people a little bit. You know, Jimmy knows. What do you... Why do they do that shit? Here's the audience. Maybe move a couple people around. Enough. And then they, they they go to the front of the fucking. Uh, <laughs> is this hurting you? Yeah, I mean, what, I mean, seriously, <laughs> until you get people to come out time. to this fucking taping, and you're saying what a nightmare oh, it's going to be. I'm it's sorry. not going to be a nightmare. It's going to be fine. Well, maybe they've changed their ways. I haven't done it in a couple of years. Look, then the lady is in front of the room, and then she's staring and studying the room. I did. And wanna... know what? I was one of those fucking assholes. They moved because I I guess I wasn't TV friendly. They moved me into the fucking shadows. I had. I, I never. Did I was a... moved into the shadows. I never did a Comedy Central taping like that. I've only done. The, H- the first HBO when I did the, the hour. Did they move people around a little bit? The first time the audience <laughs> coordinator tried to do that, right. and I was on stage, and in between shows, they were told it's very aggressively, you don't ever fucking, I want mutants in the front. Right, because I don't. My fans are not fucking Asian chicks. They're not fucking happy. Co- like, that's not who's coming to see me. I wanted to oh. represent what I do, and so I would. But yeah, as a performer, the problem is not Comedy Central. The problem is performers. Do not tell them this is what I want for yeah. my special. Yeah. They don't tell them. You got to tell them what you yeah, want. Yeah, Joe. See if they'll listen to you. They were very. And don't worry about it. I'll make this. Uh, I'll make this up to you. We'll get people in the seats for you. Right? I, I promise you that. <laughs> Thank you. I promise you that. <laughs> they were very. Because when I'm, a, I I love watching comedy, and and when I see these specials on TV, I don't give a fuck what the audience looks like. Right. They, they're gonna do their well, cutaway shots anyway. You shouldn't see the audience. You I should already, never see the audience. Who cares yeah, what they look first, like? First of all, they're not gonna show a ton of the audience. Second of all, is I already spoke to Comedy Center. When they offered this to me, I said to them, that's great because I've been trying to get to Boston. It's a big O&A market. This is a great way to finally crack Boston. And they were like, oh, that's awesome. They were like, then we hope that we can get as many O&A fans there as possible. Mm. And they do it two comics per show. And I think they paired me up with Dan Soder because he was the only other guy taping that was had some affiliation to this show. Oh, you guys so, do well. Yeah, they're really audience. trying to make it like they, they want this to be as like fan friendly as it'll, possible. It'll be great. I, I apologize, Joe. But I was hurt. I was deemed a shadow person. And it wasn't. Uh, you know how hurtful it is to be deemed a shadow person? These Listen, I, I know. Fuck, I understand yeah, man. 
But these are these are also yeah. less. Uh, I've done one of these before. These are these are a little more like, these hey, everybody come in. These cheekbones should be seen, you know? Joe DeRosa. These cheekbones should be seen. I shouldn't have been a shadow person. Hope, if you were going to be there, I would demand you be seated in the front. I don't want to be in the front. Yeah, exactly. I was in front See? for a George Carlin show, one of his HBO tapings. Yeah. And they um, they filmed two shows that day. I was front and fucking center for George Carlin uh, at the Beacon Theater HBO special, which, well, he did a lot at the Beacon Theater. And um, I was um, front row for the safety show. Uh, so I've so I so I watched George Carlin on HBO, looking at some dummy that should have been me. Who was uh, I was third? Oh, sorry, I was third row at a George Carlin concert before I did comedy, like eight, 1989. Were you shown? Yes, because the I, first time I ever met him was on. It was after a show at the State. Sam, can you look that up? State Theater in New Brunswick, New no Jersey. Kidding. I was third row center. That's wow. what am I doing in New Jersey? I think I it's think. what am I doing in New Jersey? Yes, at the State Theater. Mm-hmm. Wow. And um, I met him afterwards, and we talked. I told him, like, I'm going to be a – like, I lied to get backstage. I'm like, I'm a comedian. Can I come back? So they sent me and my friend Gary back. Were and you a comedian at that point? No. I started in 1990. Wow. Okay. So I went with a bunch of uh, friends. and uh, So you were young. Carlin was nice to me, and he signed my ticket stub. I still have that ticket stub. That's very cool. I, uh... I, I wish I could. I've, I talked to him on the phone once, but I wish I really could have, like, met him, met him. Nah, we met him. It was no big deal. The Especially obs- by the third I thought time. he was wearing black in this Eight, one. That's I'm not... obsessed with him. I love George Carlin. Uh, it, 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 it was weird to do a tough crowd with him, too, you know, to do a whole bit with him where he laughed. It was... <laughs> <laughs> it was... He did uh, our show three times, Joe. What? He did I know. Show I've three times. Probably, probably an hour. Was it three times? It was at least twice. Doing it again. I think, was, I think it was three times. Doing it again. Maybe. That's where he's in all black, and that was the one after. That's 89. That's the first one I ever saw. I'm pretty sure he was in all black. Uh, yeah, I wish. I really wish I could have met him in person. You never met him in person? No, I talked to him on the phone. I got a fucking tattoo because of him. Yes. But, uh, and I've been... Wait, what's your tattoo? I got this tattoo to my arm because of Carly. Oh. I, I can't see like, it. I get made fun of constantly for it, but yeah. I, I, I don't care. I like well, it, it looks like you wrote kitten on your arm. I know. That's what everybody says. I know, that's what I'm saying. Do people make fun of the tattoo or the fact that you put a period at the end of it? Uh, both. A period you should take off. You don't need a period. Both. Yes. Well, it's, you know, I kind of thought it was kind of cool. I understand. Well, but, you know, wrong. it's too late now. You can't get rid of the period. Sure you can. Yeah, you can get rid of the period. You know, sometimes just mutual friends. You ever see my picture with Carlin? Why are you dressed like an altar boy? We did a sketch together where he was a priest uh, and I was an altar boy. You got to do a too? sketch with George Carlin. You performed together? Yeah. Yeah, a tough crowd. You never, you never saw that? No. The, uh, I'd love to see it. The, the sketch is Colin and uh, Carlin are priests. And in the last minute, Colin wrote me in. He goes, here's what I want you to do. At the end of the sketch, just walk in and ruin it with an album and ask him to sign it. So I asked him to autograph my fucking record, and he cursed at me and Colin. And they, cause they beep it on uh, mm-hmm. Comedy Central. Is it online? Can we see this? I don't know, to be honest. I, I have it on my computer at home. That's so It's great. one of my great God moments in life. 2004. It was Thanksgiving, around Thanksgiving of 2004. I would love to see that, man. Yeah, there he is, right there. That's him on Tough Crowd. He only did it once. Yeah, I know. These are all best of montages. There. Oh, okay. I'd love to see that. Okay. I'm not going to watch the whole thing. We'll just flip through it. The audio is horrible, unfortunately. Is this out on DVD? Uh, nope. Tough Crowd, either. why isn't it on DVD? Because Comedy Central, why would they embrace it? They never did. Yeah, but look at all these stars, man. Doesn't matter. Everyone did Colin's show. Well, most guys did. There seems to be the uh, money to be made there, no? I wish I would have got to do this once. I was just fucking... One of my favorite things I ever did was Tough Crowd. I was too young. Oh, yeah, him and Seinfeld doing the fucking Sharks and the Jets on the roof. It was Uh, just weird. Him and Leary and fucking Geraldo fighting. I I wasn't there for that, but I remember it. I remember seeing that. I remember when that happened and my friend called me and he goes, Did you see Tough Crowd last night? We, we, I couldn't believe that they went at it on the air. I'd never seen anybody f- argue like that, like in a non-debate format. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or form, excuse me. Dan Natterman. Hood and Natterman and just me with my fucking dumb Tony Clifton shirt. Oh, wow. What a fat pig I was. No. no. It's so yeah. weird, man. I don't, it's like, yeah, I don't I didn't remember you being that chunky. God, I was blubbery. <laughs> Todd Lynn, yeah, I did it with Todd once, too. Who was that guy? That's Hood. He's not around anymore. That Hood. guy is Hood? Yes, he used to go on stage. He was like an arrangement. What do you mean guy. he's not around anymore? He got married. I don't know if he quit comedy, but I don't see him. He was a. Ar- oh, yeah, Colin would do the post game. 
That was a, as the credits were running, he would answer post game questions at tough. Well, you know, earlier Patrice said he goes, "Yeah, well, Patrice's an idiot." Like as a coach, that was a great, that was a good smart bet. thing. That of course, why would they recognize how brilliant that was? Hood was a, an Arabic guy who Manny at the cell. Did you know Manny? I met him like very early. I, I met him like right before he died. Manny would always fight with Hood. Hood uh, would go on stage with a with a, a fucking dynamite taped to his chest, and would uh, he was Arabic, and he would do a bit on that and. Um, I thought Hood was like a black comic. No. Or was there another that, guy named maybe, Hood? Maybe, but that's the Hood I knew. You would think that a black no. comic would be called Hood. Yeah. That's his only name, just Hood? Yep. That was, I haven't seen him in years, though. I, I want, He had a really... He started dating a really cute girl, so I'm guessing they got married because she was really a really pretty girl, so I'm, I'm guessing that they well, stayed Maybe he blew himself up somewhere. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, he moved to Tel Aviv. <laughs> maybe it was real dynamite. <laughs> what, what was the significance of that name? I don't know. It was probably it was probably like a long Iranian name. He would tell his name on stage, and it was hard to say. Okay. Why don't we take a break? So, Joe, where do they go for your comedy uh, dates? Uh, Joe runs at comedy com, Virginia, this weekend, Caroline's next week, and then uh, 26 February, Boston Royale taping, half hour. Opie and Anthony. This is the Opie and Anthony show. Serious problem joe no problem are you ready for uh, an engagement ring not yet but uh when i am i think i know where i'm gonna go steven singer yes yeah steven singer uh, but i don't think we're pushing um uh, engagement rings there joe i think uh we're pushing some roses oh she got the valentine's day you know what you can get your 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 new girlfriend one of these roses does she listen to the show uh, I think she, I mean, she knows the show. I don't know if she's serious, but I, I hope she doesn't so I could surprise her with one of these. How about that? Uh, he, he writes in this copy, uh, did you screw up Christmas? Who's talking, who's thinking about Christmas at this point, Sam Roberts? <clears throat> why is I, Christmas being mentioned in the live read? I screwed up Christmas. That's why, I mean, I was talking to Stephen about it the other day. You screwed up Christmas? Yeah. I got How did you screw up Christmas? I just got her terrible gifts. Like, I got her Bed Bath & Beyond gift cards. Yeah, it's not too good. It's that, terrible. That basically says, look, I'm not. And really I got a, a bed bath. I walked by this store in the mall, so I'll get a gift certificate from this place. Yeah. Because girls like things got that her smell good. Bed, bath, and beyond gift certificates? That's right. And I got her a gift certificate to AMP because she always complains about the groceries. Yeah. And I thought, oh, now you don't have to worry about, you know, grocery shopping. Are you serious? Yeah. Are you doing shtick? Nope. You're That's doing a shtick. Shit no, gift, not. Sam. You're doing shtick. That's I'm not better doing than that. I'm not doing shtick. You didn't get her an A and P gift That's card. Exactly what I got her. Those are shit You're doing gifts. shtick. No, I'm not. You haven't learned shit from us. I'm not doing any shtick. You d you are. Oh, okay. Prove well. to me you got your girl, your wife, a A and P gift card. I mean, she, there's I no fucking I don't way. Have photos did. of me presenting her with the gift card, but that's what I did. I screwed up. That's all you got her. That's it. No, be honest. You know, Sam. I know. You're doing shtick just to make the Steven Singer read better. Is did you or did you not read? give her a A and P gift card? That's why I got her. Do you believe it, Joe? I do believe it. I think he really did. I really think he did. You know, I didn't know what to get her. Sam, when Sam was getting <laughs> married, I was like, "This is you can't come on, man." Did, Why would you get her an A and P gift card? She always complains about the cost of groceries. Make it easy on you. But but isn't it the same cost? It's just in a gift <laughs> same card form. Thing. Yeah, but she doesn't have to pay for it. You make your wife pay for the groceries? Half. So, basically, all you did was say, here's 50 bucks. I got the other half. Right, exactly. I'll month. pay for my half, obviously. You don't have to pay for your half, my half with your gift you card. You got her a gift that you both, that you're going to eat. Yeah, but I'm not, you know. Who, what are you doing? Nothing. I, I just don't believe it. You calling his wife? Yeah. She's, a, she's in my phone as side piece. That's not cool. <laughs> Jesus. Look, you know, you guys have no respect in this studio. I know. None. It's terrible. I want her to pick up. She's at work right now. So well, she can't pick up a phone at work? Yeah. What Isn't that what secretaries do? do? She's a uh, right, creative executive. So That's you really title. got her an AP gift card? Yep. I, I don't believe Christ. that. So anyway, Which, hit a home run with Steven Singer for a guarantee <laughs> for Valentine's Day. Can you imagine the perfect gift for Valentine's Day? Starting at just 69 bucks, a real long stem rose dipped in 24 karat pure gold. This gift will last forever. You'll get credit for this gift for a lifetime. So why talk about val Valentine's Day already? Well, because it's two weeks away. What do you mean already? 
Yeah, that that needs a little up. Steven Singer needs better copy. Someone's not taking care of Steven Singer. What do you mean? I agree. Why, it's too uh, early to talk about Valentine's Day? Two weeks Day? out, it's not a major holiday. It's a little thing. It's and kind of it's a major a, holiday for it, the women. And it's two and a half weeks out. Right. You know. Yeah, he's got a good point. So why bring it up already? Most guys are going, ah, Christ, already you're up my ass about Valentine's Day. It was just Christmas, for Christ's sake. I fucked that up. I'm going to fuck this one up now? Right. And he's got going, no. Will she, will she answer te- uh, text messages at least? I don't know. You have to ask her. Uh, well, I'm going to. Hold on. Are you you really got it? This shit? yeah, nah, he's fucking smirking. I always smirk. I love this show. Yeah, but you're doing. You don't have to do shtick on our show. You know that. Mm. Just tell the truth. We like just fucking have an honest conversation. So thank you. Yeah. <laughs> or, when when did that become a rule of the show? Yeah, I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> what well, what happened? When did that become a rule? Of we the don't show? do shtick. Usually, have an honest conversation. All this show is is antagonizing oh, each other. Well, yeah, I guess. You're right. <laughs> I guess you're right about that. <laughs> All right, hopefully she'll answer my text. I got this a couple more I read, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're talking about Stephen Singer. <laughs> and screwing up Christmas. Can I do the rest of it? Gift cards and whatnot. Uh, yeah. I like doing the, them. All right, go ahead. I like doing them. I don't need this. Go ahead. Just talk about these roses. Oh, you don't need the thing? I don't need the thing. Do you need the thing? They got roses. They dip them in all kinds of beautiful stuff. They got a go, gold. They di- gold. No, they dip them in all kinds of shit. I didn't want to say shit. But it's not shit negative. as in shit. It's shit in, like, uh, fucking quotation. As in as in nice. That's right. Steven Singer, he <laughs> takes these roses and he dips them in all kinds of shit. Yeah, it's gold. 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 Silver. Silver. It's gold, right? right? Uh, it's uh, all kinds of gold shit. It's all types of gold. Shit. So it's just but isn't gold. there, like, a... We need the word shit in this library. Shit. Yes. Isn't there, a, like, appreciate a, this. there's, like, a, a, like a, a black one and a gold one. There's different colors of the gold. Lots of different colors of what gold shit. What would those shit. colors be? Oh. I don't know because I don't need to know. Pink, I'll say. I'll say they have a new color, for, and I'll say they got the traditional gold uh, one. Yeah, for two thousand. It's a library. It's a library that's going way too long. No, know why, it. Jimmy? Why? Because Sam is doing shtick. No, I'm not. Just to pump Sam. up the Steven Singer read because it says uh, he did does you, a lot of shtick. Did you screw up Christmas? Uh, Sam goes. I got my wife an A and P gift card for the holidays. We didn't. Thank you. Yeah, I did. You did not. All right. What the fuck is A&P, by the way? It's like your Christini. It's where you get your shitty steaks for your fucking day. A&P? What, do you not know know Stop and Shop? I thought it was like A&W. That's all I could keep thinking of. My friend Marvin would always make me laugh when I told you he'd say stop and plop. (laughs) And that made me fucking crack up for years. Uh Uh-oh, Mars is in studio. Don't talk about abuse. Um, (laughs) A&P? Where is the A&P? I've never seen an A&P. Westchester! It sounds oh. like a shitty grocery store on it's top not, of everything else. Yeah, it is a shitty grocery Did store. You change it, it is. It makes King Cullen look like the food emporium. Little Woody Allen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you did, yeah, I mean, you didn't even get her like to a nice grocery store. That's where we go. If it's if it's his local grocer, whatever. But the fact is, he did not there. get her. He oh, did not get her an A and P gift card for Christmas. Like he might have got her an A and P gift card, but it wasn't for Christmas. I like how you called it a grocer. Like there's an old man with well, an that's apron. That's what they used to be called. Yeah, right? I know. Back when people yeah, ran them. Like this is grosser than that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got the uh, hot pink love rose. That's what he's pushing today. Steven Singer's got the hot pink uh, love rose. That's right. that's right. They sell out. Limited quantities. That bastard. How about he not, not? How, how about he, he doesn't put a limit on this? Yeah. He's how hard is it to take your fucking rose and dip it in some pink shit? You should only make it so many, right? But yeah. look, the guy has a product. He wants to sell it. Yeah, that's he, his business. He probably doesn't want you to phrase it like, "Take how hard is it to take a rose and dip it in some pink shit?" Oh no, we already determined that he loves the word "shit" in his live read. Oh, he does. You yeah. missed that. Yeah, oh, he man. loves it. It's in bold letters. Make sure you use "shit." The word shit. But we also said shit in quotations. Like it's What's not, that? Oh. It's not shit. It means shit means good in this case. Oh. Yeah. So you take that rose and you dip it in some pink shit. Like chippy is the shit. There you go. There you go. Uh, but you no see? reason for the. So limited oh. quantities available. That's just so you order right now. What? Yeah. No, there are limited quantities available. Can I see the scars? I just. You got yeah. scars from it? Okay. No, no hair. No hair goes on his fucking. That's from, not funny. <laughs> from the scotch. He has a griddle shaped fucking bald spot on his hands. You must hate pancakes. <laughs> yeah. you, you want your eggs over easy? No! <laughs> Iraq. That's one you gotta do for the show. Will you take a hot, oily spatula to the monkey dance? <laughs> 
I don't put know. that noise just in to it. show uh, just to show uh, Mars it was no big deal. No, you, that, that's kind of a big deal. You think? Yeah. <laughs> All right, where are we with this pink rose thing? Brand new hot pink glove rose, limited quantities, order now. So I guess we're down to just saying I hate Steven Singer dot com. Uh, click on the real long stem rose, choose your color, have it shipped to your door for free in a beautiful gold gift box, personalized message. Da, 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 da. Visit him at the other corner of 8th and Walnut down there in Philly. It's a good area. That's my hometown, so maybe I will buy one of these things. You should. Give it to your mom or something. For the girl. Or your girl, I don't know. My mom? Yeah, the moms like this shit, I don't too. buy my mom a Valentine's Day present. What the hell is wrong with you? Why not? Cause that I know. sucks. What do you just eat her box? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> just give her a good cum oh, for her right. birthday. Let's take it easy. Does she give you a good pegging? Yeah. No, I. Uh, <laughs> she takes her mom fucking fingernails <laughs> into your shoulders. Does she peg you for your birthday, Joe? No. <laughs> do you guys buy your mom thing for Valentine's Day? Oh, yeah. I'll buy a candy, make her feel good. Yeah, maybe a little. I give her st- uh, a little, her- uh, little heart-shaped uh, candy uh, thing, or like uh, some flowers. I get her stuff for the birthday. I get She's got some of these gold roses. Mother's Day. It's like, come on, man. For Christ's sakes, how many fucking days are gonna do Well, Valentine's Day card says, "Hey, mom, love you. Happy Valentine's Day." Uh-huh. Signed, Joe DeRosa. Guess I have to do it this year. Yeah. I don't know why you would put your last name if it's to your mom, but exactly. what the hell? You know, I hate Stephen Singer dot com. One eight eight eight. I hate Stephen Singer or online, which I just said. I hate Stephen Singer dot com. I think we accomplished a lot here for Stephen Singer. Me too. We learned that he uh, takes his roses and dips it in all kinds of shit. Takes right. his fucking roses. Dips it in. Serious XM. Serious XM. Yeah. 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 This is the OP and Anthony Show. Yeah. This is when the credits uh, credits roll, Joe. This does not play you guys when felt- the credits roll. It does. It does. Oh, no, it doesn't. You guys fell asleep because you guys had sex and you were full from your avocado dish <laughs> avocados and little steaks <laughs> you know the credits roll and they play this it made me tired just, just as a fun little thing for everybody it was beautiful no this does not play with the credits no it roll. does it really does i can't we watch it remember how you just said don't do shtick this isn't shtick <laughs> this oh she might have wrote back yeah i want to hear what this is I want to hear if you told the truth. She's vague as you are. She just writes back, he's very thoughtful because she doesn't want to blow up your spot. You're not thoughtful. How am I being vague? Huh? I'm not being vague. No, I think you're bullshitting and she's uh, helping you with the bullshit by saying he's very thoughtful because she doesn't want to openly lie. That's not an answer. He's very thoughtful. I guess you got to ask her then directly. I'm trying. What did she get you? She got me. me... She didn't get you shit. Awkward. She didn't get him. I thought we were well, we doing shtick or uh, awkward. No shtick on this show. Yeah, no I thought, that's not Just true. It didn't actually happen, so awkward. you shouldn't be saying that. Awkward. What um, did she get you? She got me a pair of Macho Man Randy Savage's ring worn tights from WCW. It was fucking awesome. Really? Yeah. That was your whole present? I mean, then she got me some little things, I think, but that was the big deal. Hey, what would you? Do? Oh, you hear that? You're on the air, Jess. Oh, Jess, you are on the air. She said hi, Greg. Right, Jess, Jess, <laughs> don't do shtick. I want a yes or a no. Don't lie. Did Sam get you an A and P gift card for the holidays? Yes, he did. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I, I don't know if that's so bad. I, I'd appreciate. I mean, I appreciate stuff like that. And these are expensive. Uh, groceries get expensive, don't they? <laughs> yeah, the but it's the worst gift I've ever heard of. <laughs> right, groceries will be expensive whether you pay like cash, credit card, or with a gift card. <laughs> that's like a. But that's I literally do all like the a. Grocery shopping, and right. Now I didn't have to worry about it. It's just I don't know. It's one of those. What do you mean you don't have to worry things. about? It. You still have to shop. You just hand the gift card in at the end. No. Oh, that stinks. Yeah. You know it's what the, a gift would have been? Here's what a gift would have been. I'm relieved that Sam if, wasn't doing shtick. But no, this okay. is still. I think awful. he texted her and told her what to say. <laughs> really? Of course he did. Did you text her? No, I don't, of course have, a, he did. I don't have a phone. Sorry. Or she, or she just picked up on it because she's smart. Are you? T- come on. You, we need, really need to. We really need to know. We don't like the shtick shit. Yeah, we don't like shtick. You know that. Did he really get you a gift card? Shtick. Right. How much was the gift yeah. card for? Yeah, he did, and he's done it before. Right. How much was it for? How much was it for? Yes. Yeah. 
gosh, I don't remember. I think it was 50. 50? <laughs> 50 bucks. 50 big yeah, ones. Like That's good for her. Fifty dollars. It's a $50 good dollar gift card. Yeah. Yeah. You pay? Stink. That's a solid week of her half of groceries. Jeez. Fair enough. Right. Right. And you get to eat. Here's what a present. <laughs> first of all, that gift is like a Ralph Crabden gift. Like, honey, I got you a new mop. That's literally <laughs> that's, like one of those gifts. That's barely two meals. This is what a gift would have been: is if you went, if under the tree was like all the groceries for like weeks. You were like, baby. What a oh, shitty gift yeah, that is. Yeah. Grocery should not be associated with Christmas. Oh, look. Oh, a sweet potato. <laughs> right. Listen, I agree. Well, for, for our anniversary, we're planning on buying each other knives. It's true. Nice really? knives. Really? So you get to stab each other? Knives. Yeah, we have, like, hand-me-down knives from two years ago. So you can suicide pack your way Robert's out of this family thing. massacre. He got, uh, you, he got you a $50 A&P. I know you got, uh, well, not you guys anymore. <laughs> Hmm. But Sam doesn't have a lot of money. Oh, right. So a $50 <laughs> A&P gift card. I mean, that's rough. Groceries are a shit gift anyway you slice it. But I'm saying if you had to do groceries, the way to do it would be to go out and do the work and then have like, look, baby, you don't have to worry about this for a little while. Yeah, but what if they're perishable? The only well, thing you, don't get, under the tree. you don't get the like perishables. Oh. For the rest. Right. Yeah, you freeze the meat. It'll last a month. You know, it's like, come on, man. Hmm. I just like him to, I once asked him to, I've been coming home later from work, and I asked him to start cooking, uh -oh. and he told me no. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I mean, is that a coincidence, Sam, after he, she gets the, if he gives her the all of a sudden she's working late? Wait, you won't, <laughs> you won't, wait, you won't start dinner? I'm not good at it. I, I just heard, she, you said you're working later, so you called Sam and go, could you start dinner, and he refuses? He said, he actually goes, No. No, I won't. Why would you say no to that? Well, I'm not good at it. I don't know what kind of... What? You know. And then he said he didn't know how. All right, all right. Yeah. so what did you need him uh, to make for you because you were late at work? Oh, it's so simple. I just needed him to start cooking soup and salad for us. We were going to have soup and salad, and he didn't know how to do it. Wait, well, well salad can be uh, tough because you got to cut it all dinner. up and shit. <laughs> <That dinner is laughs> and soup is so hard because you got to put it in a pot. What? Did and, he have to make salad from, like, scratch with all the ingredients, or was it, like, uh, you know? No, it was from a bag. I swear. Wait, you wouldn't open up a bag and a can of soup for no, your wife? No, I had to cut a tomato, too. By the way, you guys are eating bag salad and canned soup. You could have had, you could have stocked under the tree for six months. <laughs> this shit wouldn't have went bad. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. What did you buy with your $50 gift card to A&P? Just the regular groceries. We try to spend around 75 70 for groceries a week. Right. So. Split that shit down the middle. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. I have to go back to work. Make go that back paper. To work. We're at work. Do your this is duty. work for us. I know. All right. Enjoy your work day. Get that guac. All right. Goodbye. Wow. See? Think that's real, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's just honest talk from an honest guy. No shtick there. No shtick. I don't like shtick. Sam, man, that's a real lousy present, man. I'm not trying to come down on you. That's just like a... Well, he, he probably got her other stuff. No, he said he only got her that in the Bed, Bath, and Beyond <laughs> gift certificate. Is that it, Sam? That's it. Yeah. Jesus Why Christ, Why are you believing Sam? that part of this? Because <laughs> he wasn't lying about it. I don't know. I believe it. No, that part I knew. Like, that might have been some uh, throw-in oh. gifts. We, we, There's yeah, no else? way that's the only two things he got her. Look, Jess and I are past the point of, like... A trip to the grocery store is a romantic thing that you talk to people about. I didn't say it was romantic. I said it was economic. Right. <laughs> that we could cover more ground in more, more less time. Were That's... you guys sharing, like, a shopping cart all lovey-dovey and shit? No, oh, we had our own baskets. We went separate ways. Oh, got you're still the going shit. with your own baskets, Got I the see. fuck mm. out of there. Well, we paid all together. But you desperately want to have one basket, don't you? I mean, where she puts her stuff in. You know, and... I think that's what life's all about is trying to get to one basket. <laughs> when do you think you're you gonna know? be a, a one basket couple? <laughs> uh, you know, of indi it, individual baskets can't come soon yeah. enough, Hope. Yeah, you know, because that's what love is, baby. I'll tell you. Well, let me tell you what love is. Love is this: you turn 93, <laughs> and you kill your wife of 70 years uh -huh. okay. because, and I quote, he couldn't take it anymore. Jesus. <laughs> she was 95, he was 93. Oh, you know the story, Jim? Sure do. How'd he kill her again? That I don't know.
90, a 93-year-old Kansas City man has been charged with killing his 95-year-old wife and what investigators are calling a homicide and attempted suicide. Oh, so he tried to take himself out too, huh? Yeah. Uh, the Jackson County prosecutor filed the second-degree murder charges Wednesday against Harry Irwin. Okay. Who remained hospitalized with self-inflicted stab wounds in his chest. <laughs> Jesus, talk about the wrong way to do it. I mean, for Christ's sake, you're 95. <laughs> Just jump off the top step and you're fucking done. What the fuck, man? Because you're, ne you're never going to go all in trying to stab yourself in the chest. I how did he kill That's her? crazy. Well, let's find out. Police have not said how uh, Grace Irwin died. Sorry, Jimmy. Damn. Paramedics who were called to the couple's home around 6.30 Wednesday found her in bed with blood on her head. Probably bludgeoned her. <sighs> her dumb fucking head while she was sleeping. A paramedic told police Harry Irwin was unresponsive in a chair with blood on his shirt and arms. The paramedic says Irwin regained consciousness and said he had killed his wife and himself, then asked, why am I awake? Oh, he thought he killed... Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's sad. Him, he was telling him that he killed himself uh, as well. That's so and then sad. went, wait a minute, why am I awake? Did he hate his wife or was she sick? And, and fucking, he just wanted to go, you know, both go to heaven, whatever old people do. Well, Guessing because of the blood, he probably didn't like her. He was married yeah. 70 years. He told a shift nurse at the hospital that he killed his wife because she was arguing and screaming at him all night, and he couldn't take it anymore. 95, and he's got to deal with this cunt yelling at him. And here's the thing. Dude, you're 95. You put a pillow over her face. And then just go, she died. And everybody would go, ah, oh, it's a shame. You know, aim for the steps. Oops, yeah, Daisy. I mean, it's like it's like. <laughs> yeah, if a ninety-five-year-old lady is uh, dead in a bed, and there's no like, yeah, yeah. They got married seventy years. What no, year no is that? No signs of foul play. You might get away with that, huh? Jesus what God. year is that? If they got married, it's now twenty thirteen. That would be nineteen forty-three. Wow, they got married. Did you imagine when Woodstock happened? They were married almost thirty years. Twenty-five. Twenty-five years. I just say twenty-five. Oh, he, if you took, took some pills, he'd be dead. Why? I mean, this guy went about it, the whole thing, in the worst way possible. No, he wanted out, too. No, that's what I'm saying. But He's it's a tough like any, little fucker. He fucked up by because he the stabbing himself thing. He probably passed out from the shock of stabbing himself. And then, you know, it's mm. like, just take some pills if you want to die. What's going to happen to him? It's like, He's going to go to jail. That could be kind of cool. Something <laughs> a little different. He's going to go to jail. Oh, Nobody's yeah. going to fuck with him. Nah, nobody will fuck with a 93-year-old guy who killed his wife. <laughs> They'll understand. Yeah, <laughs> I think in jail you don't beat up ninety-three-year-old men. You just leave the guy alone. You'd have, yeah, you have to be a real scumbag. Yeah. Just, like just work him over in the yard. <laughs> work him over in the yard. Yeah, because he looked at you wrong. Ah, it's so sad. He's wandering around by himself. That He's old, not gonna have any jail friends. But just to have to listen to this cunt yelling at him all night. Fuck. What do you think it was about? By that point, it could be anything. It could be the doily was crooked. Right. It could be that, you know, like, yeah. mm, I told you, I knew I had to end my last relationship. <clears throat> when my ex-girlfriend was going at me in, at night, and I had to get up in the morning, I said to her, like, you really got to shut the fuck up and go home. Like, I, 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 I'm not throwing you out. I'm not saying get out, bitch. I'm saying I want to sleep. I have to work tomorrow. You got to go. And she wouldn't stop. And I could hear her voice next to me, and I, I kind of, in my head, measured where my fist would land and I could feel the pull of my right arm. Like I could, I could feel oh my, my fist balled up and I'm was like, was it balled up? You, it was literally, wow. I was fighting the arc. Like I wanted to arc it and drill her in the face as hard as I can. I'm like, I can't, at one point I went out and I looked through the kitchen drawer and I'm looking at the kitchen knives and I'm like, I want to kill her. And I knew, I, of course, I wouldn't do that. Well, did you want to kill her because of what she was saying or just out of complete and utter frustration the whole that thing. this thing wouldn't end? Both. Both. Wow. But, and I'm like, what bothered me so much is in that moment where I was in such a fucking rage, I'm like, she has no idea what I'm thinking right now. Like, she thinks she does, but she doesn't. And that was when I ended the relationship. And, uh, and now she's one of my best friends because we don't, we're not, you know, she's one of my favorite people. But in that intense argument, I know my anger is a problem, but it got to be so, what bothered me so much is that I was trying to diffuse it and go, look, just stop. I got to sleep. I can't do this. And she wouldn't stop. What was the art? What was it about? I literally don't even remember. It was, it was, it was one of those things that starts off on A 
because it had been building up and it winds up on L for no reason. Like there was no, it, right. there was no linear. I could right. never give you a linear reason. You just throw sure. everything else in there. Yeah. The argument. And right. then by then it won't stop. And uh, when I when I say, look, please just go home and let's stop fighting. That's a bad sign because I like to argue. Well, did she leave? No. Um, she I just, stayed the night. Yeah, and I just it was like two thirty in the morning. I'm like, okay. I'm like, just enjoy this because this is the last time you'll ever be in this apartment. You'll never be here again. I'm like, so go ahead, just be a cunt and fucking be a cunt for the rest of the night. Keep babbling, cunt, because you'll never set foot in here again. Did she continue? Um, I don't remember. I think we argued in the morning, and I made her leave when I left. Um, and I think she was back one time after that to pick something up in the day. And we fought again, but she had never been back in since. Even now that you're friends? Well, well she moved. Oh, okay. Now I would let her come over because she, you know, she's, you right. know, she lives in California now. But no, no now I would, I, I would let her stay over. I like her. Yeah, I do too. She's, she's literally one of my favorite people to, alive. I just need to say that. I like her. Yeah, yeah me girlfriend. too. I love her. Huh? Do I know who she is? Yeah. I don't know if you ever met her or not. Okay. But. Yeah, Jimmy was I see her every while. time I'm in LA. We go out, we eat, and you know it's great to see her. Have you yeah. ever been back uh, together with her? No, we. You know, it's funny. I, I think I say I say I was I'm single for a year and a half. I think we slept together a few times after we broke up into July and August of not this past one, but the year before. Um, but no, we just stayed. Fr- we became f- better friends after a while. So what? What prevented you from uh, doing something really crazy that night? If if you're if you obviously hit your limit, you have your fist balled up. You're looking at uh, kitchen knives. What what stopped you? Your life is over if you do this. But so you must have been out of your fucking mind for the rest of the night. Yeah, but it was what like calmed you down to a point. It like, scared me that I was that mad. But like, you knew, like, all right, all I have to do is get to morning, and this I'm done with this situation. Yeah. It it frightened me. Like wow, it frightened me because. Thank God I'm not married. Because that can happen with any person you're dating. What drove me so crazy was that when I wanted space and I couldn't get it, that's what freaked me out. It wasn't even the fight. Like, because there was times where I would just scream irrationally. Like, she was just being, like, a little bitchy, and I went to nine. So I was fucking easily half the issue. But when you can't, when someone won't leave your space, when they have a place to go, I didn't say get out and walk the streets, whore. It wasn't like that. I would even tell her in those moments, like, I'll pay for a cab. I'm not saying go out and get killed. Just remove yourself from where I am right now. Or I would if I could, but I can't because I live here. And when they won't do that, when she won't go, that it's, it put me in a fucking a, a crazy. I literally walked out, and uh, I reached in the knife drawer, and, and I, I, just, I was just feeling it. I'm like, I know I'm not going to do it. I knew I wouldn't do it. But the idea of it was just, it was so powerful just to do this. Uh, you know, and of course you don't do it. And it's, I don't feel crazy saying that because everybody has crazy moments or crazy urges. Yeah, well, that's the difference. I think a lot of people do have crazy thoughts, but then they don't, you know, a small percentage actually. Act they out actually, yeah. Act that's, out. that's such a tough situation to be in too, because that's a situation where if it was you and a guy of age, you'd fight. You go, we're, okay, we're at fist fight level now. And with women, you can't do that. And with a kid, you can't do that. So when somebody is pushing you and bulldozing over you over and over and over, and you know it can't, there's no further form of expressing your anger other than you, you're yelling Physical, at your right. backs. You, you, there's nowhere to go. It is, it is the most infuriating thing you can, you can imagine. Well, I think with a guy, me and Bob Kelly argued like that once many years ago, walking to our apartment. And we both felt it getting to that point. But the difference between a man and a woman is I know that Bob can hit me and Bob knows that I can hit him. As men, we understand something. Like, if, it, if you wind up fighting, you wind up fighting. But you both see the progression. Very rarely will two men argue that vehemently where all of a sudden one hits the other one. He's like, Ugh. you both sense it going there. Whereas with a woman, because they're so used to you not ever hitting them, they don't care that you're that angry. Whereas with a guy, I was concerned that Bob was that mad, and I was concerned that I was that mad. Because I'm like, I don't want to hit Bob, and A, he's my friend, or B, if he kicks my ass. Like, you have all these things. There's consequences to this escalating. Right. I knew there were physical consequences, if, and it didn't. And Bobby yeah. sensed it too, that, and we both kind of backed off. That's got to be a powerful place for a woman to be in, knowing that 
knowing that oh, I could say whatever the fuck I want because in society, guys do not hit women. But that's that, That's what makes it even more frustrating. Is of I course don't, it does. As a man, you're like, but, holy crap, I, I know how we could end this. I don't think... A nice little fist fight. I don't think women consciously think that. I think most women don't even have a concept right. of this is where men would fight now and ha, 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 you can't You really you don't think they have a me. concept or, or they definitely we... have that in their back pocket and they know it? No, mo there are some. Because uh, like Jimmy described, it does get to a point with, with guys, then you, you fist fight and you know that's it. It's pretty much it. Then you motherfuck each other as just... You're being separated, and you're done with it, more or less. There are some that do, but I think a lot don't. I think a lot are just kind of floating along with no... A lot of women don't have a realization? No, definitely not. I definitely think not. Know. I think and, she and knew. It... She didn't care. Like, she was weird, because she was kind of bold in that in that way, like, where she's not... She was not going to be backed off by that. Right. Like she, she would literally have just let me hit her, and then uh, swung back or hit me for... Like, her mentality was not, I'm a girl. You know what I mean? Like Maybe I'm contradicting myself, but in that moment, uh, I know that she would have been physically uh, aggressive. Right. I know that. Wow. Yeah. Well, there's, you know, there's all there's all types, man. And I, I know guys, I know one guy whose girlfriend was, he's a comic, and they went to see, like, Richard Lewis or somebody perform, and she was talking really loud because she was drunk, like, in the showroom. And he kept being like, "You got, sweetie, you gotta shut up. I'm a comic. You're making me look bad. Stop talking." Yeah. And she started going, "What are you gonna do? Hit me? Uh, you want to hit me?" So I know girls that do that, but then I know other girls that clearly did have he this... dump this bitch? Yeah, he dumped her. Good. But I, I know, I know other girls that have that don't have that concept of the power and think this is just what you do. You just run your mouth until you're done running your mouth. And, and it wouldn't have been. You know, I'm sorry to interrupt you, Joe. It wouldn't have been mad no. if she. It wouldn't have been mad if she left. Like if you're arguing with a guy, if me and Joe are arguing, and Joe says, "Get out of my fucking apartment," even if we're still arguing, I'm going to leave because it's his space. Like the problem was she, not that a man should be able to physically threaten a woman like that, but she wouldn't leave. And it's like now you're putting me Why in a bad place. Why do you think place. she wouldn't leave? Because she wanted to keep fighting. She was really mad at me. Did she uh, know that that was the last day of your relationship? You think? No. But I mean, again, at that point, I think she felt the end was near anyway. Right. But she had no idea in that moment uh, of of the of the absolute rage I was in. Like I know she thinks she understood it, and she was probably in the same kind of a vibe. But uh, I I I went. I've done really really stupid things spur of the moment. It was always to myself. Mm -hmm. But it's like some people don't have a. They have good senses, but it's like this one. You're a little bit. You should wow. just stop. Wow. That's tough, man. That's a tough, that's a tough, it's the same feeling to me. It's a very, very similar feeling to the anger that I get, like, when my, when the real, when the, when the landlord company that owns my apartment is being shitty. Mm -hmm. And, like, you know, like, right now I'm having a problem with the heat, and I'm calling, and I'm being like, there's a problem with the heat, and the secretary's being a fucking cunt. By the way, anybody listening, don't ever fucking rent from Gatsby Realty, ever. Ever, ever, if you live in this fucking city, never fucking rent from them. And if anybody wants to call them up and find their number online and break their fucking balls, please feel free to do so. They are fucking cunts. I will say, no, I've personally never dealt with Gatsby yeah, Lordy. Jesus, Joe. <laughs> I don't know what they're like. Joe said, uh, has that's... obviously had a very unpleasant dealing with them, <laughs> but I have not dealt with them that's, myself. That's all Joe DeRosa. I've, I have no idea about this company. Is yes. that, are you not allowed to say stuff You can like say what you want, you but I mean, I, I have but, to be really... And I'm not but, throwing you under the bus. I'm literally saying I don't know well, if when that's... when they throw a lawsuit your way, at least they won't put our names on it. That's all we're uh, doing. What's yeah. the lawsuit? <laughs> what could they sue me you for? They could probably sue you if, if what you're saying is, again, uh, in all Inaccurate. honesty, def or defamation of right. uh, or, or, or whatever. Oh, these fucking cunts, man. I had a gas leak that they didn't tend to. I had mice when I moved in. Uh, the windows were broken when I moved in. When the Why would you move into a, uh, an yeah. apartment with broken windows? It looked fine. Like, when I moved in, it wasn't like the, the glass was shattered. Right. It was like when I moved in and, and, like, tried to open the windows, they, like, would fall down and shit. Then, when the blackout happened, because the way they set this building up, even though I'm renting, they set it up like it's a co-op. So there's a middle company that I have to go through. The day I moved in, the super of the building goes, you can't come to me for anything. You have to go to Gatsby and use their super. 
So when the blackout happened, there's no premises, there's no super on premises. I was calling them and saying, listen, I need to know if the power's on in the building. I had to evacuate. And they're going, it's not up to us to figure that out. You got to call Connor. They wouldn't fucking help me figure out. Well, then why would you have dealt, taken a deal where you can't deal with your. Uh... Because I didn't know. Because I didn't know that that was one of the stipulations. I mean, it might. It sounds it may, like uh, your irresponsibility has gotten the best of you here. It may or may not have. Why would been, you go into an apartment that has broken windows? I didn't know. What do you think? They were fucking shattered. Well, what kind of breaks were in them? You when gotta you, check these apartments. When you first. go in, when you'd open them, them, they'd yeah, fall. Yeah, doesn't make sense. Yeah, I don't know anything about this right. company. It's just not being personally responsible. Okay, guys. To go, you, you know, know, you go, you check the apartment, Forget it. see if you like Forget it, it first. Forget it. Forget no, it. What's, what? what? What's the heat problem? Uh, the fucking heat doesn't work properly. And I called yesterday. I called Friday and said my heat's not Isn't working. Isn't that properly. good? Because you're in a new relationship, you got to like, you know. Okay. Forget it. Get nice and close with Forget each other. The covers. I'm yeah. I'm saying Keep all this warm. stuff. This, these are all my own words. They're fucking cunts. All right. I have no idea about this company. Yeah. yeah. My, Jimmy has no idea about this company. I believe what you're saying. You, you believe this. That's fine too. Huh? Well, this helps. What? <laughs> we're not, we're, and we're not throwing you into the bus. It's like literally when you when you go after a company, you can, I think you can express your own experience with any company because sure, yeah. I've had companies. Yeah, we've done just that. But I, I you know, I, I I just you know you just gotta watch when you. How many uh, how many stars do they get on the Yelp? One star on Yelp. Oh, okay. Maybe other people have had similar. Once, literally, if I you would, read the yeah. Yelp reviews, they are good exactly or bad? what I'm saying. <laughs> Is that good or bad? That's bad. That's bad. That'd be bad. But it just, I mean, it, how come you didn't check Yelp before? Yeah, there's a lot of irresponsibility coming out All here right. today. It, it's Thanks. This will help when they try to file a lawsuit against me that you guys are insinuating that I somehow fucked up because <laughs> they didn't intend to a gas leak in my fucking apartment. <laughs> Is I called Friday and said my heat's broken. Yeah. They said we'll call the building manager because you can't go to the super. Right. He'll get right back to you. I go, you need to understand what I'm saying to you. The temperatures are going down to 12 degrees at night. I need the heat fixed. They never called me back. So how about stop paying them and get another place? Uh, that's going to be my next Why step. can't you deal with the landlord in the building? What is that? Because he is not affiliated with – because what they did was they bought up all these units in the building. Not all the units, but a bunch of the units. And then they created a middle company where it functions like a co-op. So the way co-ops work, as you probably know, is – the personal owner is responsible, not the building intent, superintendent or whatever. Oh, unless, I didn't know that in co-ops. I've yeah, always, unless, yeah, we're not allowed in co-ops. Yeah, I would never get approved for co-ops. Yeah, so that's, well. I, I'm too rock and roll. <laughs> I wouldn't Sorry. get approved either, but, like, it was a real sneaky fucking thing they did. Yeah, yeah, it and, sounds like it. You know, I was coming out of this situation where my mom was sick, and I needed to find a, an apartment very quickly. Are you quickly. vulnerable? No, I just needed a place very quickly. Oh. And uh, and it was it was just like when they when that got sprung on me at the last minute, I was like, oh, I guess that's fine. And I signed the lease. And then the day I moved in, the super let me in and he goes, by the way, I don't come to me and ask for anything. I can't help you. Oh, OK. Yeah, I wouldn't think to ask that either. Like when you you know, I wouldn't think that when you just assume the landlord, I wouldn't think to say, well, who do I go to? Just... Right. Would never even occur to me because the, the last building I was in was a co-op and I was renting. And you could go to the super. It was just like if it was something above and beyond a certain call of duty, you had to pay him. You know, so it was like it was fine. I just kind of assumed that that's how this would work, and it's not how it works. All I'm saying here today is uh, we have never uh, dealt with that company, and um, I have. Yeah, Joe Rose has, and I have no idea. They're fucking Greg scum. Greg Hughes, who plays Opie on the radio, has no fucking idea. Well, they're scum. I do. I have Joe a full Rose idea. They're that. fucking Joe scum. Joe DeRose is saying that. This is no Jim different. Norton is not saying no, that. No, Jim Norton has no idea. No idea. Joe DeRose is Jim not Norton getting a hint. <laughs> and Greg Hughes has no idea. But how is this? Let me ask you guys. No a, idea. No middle name, Let me ask you guys this. I'm not asking you, to, yeah, no. I'm not asking you to jump in. Yeah. But let me ask you this. This is, an, this is no different than if I went on Yelp and left a review online about the company. It's the same fucking thing. Um, I'm publicly voicing my my uh, my the, disappointment with the company. Yes, disdain. You disdain, can voice yes. disdain and disappointment. Yes, and disgust, disgust. This, and disdain. I don't know. Uh, to be honest with you, Joe, and a lawyer may listen to this and go, Joe is 100 percent right. I don't know the law well enough. I know that like when I'm bashing, say a product, like say I bought uh, whatever, I can bash the product and say I hate it and I hated my results, but I wouldn't come on and say that product doesn't work. You, There's yeah. a weird line. I'm not saying you crossed it. I just don't know well enough. Right, I so I, I kind of avoid it because I don't know well enough. Do you have documentation? 
of um, these things happening like to his, you? Yeah. Well, what I have are emails that I have sent to them oh, that boy. were never responded Greg to. Greg Hughes has no idea about this company. Uh, and, of course, I can What's call in the Con emails? Ed and just say, you know, I need, I need proof of, of your visit here when you came in and said there was a gas leak. Right. Okay. What's in the emails? I, I sent them several emails saying urgent matter. I need to discuss this with you, and they just don't respond. The secretary in the office ha literally hangs up on you. <laughs> you know, complete fucking attitude. Well, maybe she's they busy trying to figure out what to buy with her A&P gift card. Yeah. I talked to a guy the other day. I was complaining about something, and he goes, and he's, he's like kind of yelling at me. I go, what is your name? And he goes, why do you need to know my name? Why is that important? I mean, the, like, the, the, everybody you deal with is like Don't this. ever ask that, because as soon as you say, what is your name, they're going to give you a fake name. Why ask him, to, be, ask him at the beginning. Yeah, you always but ask so him at the beginning, just in case. I asked him at the very beginning. And, you know, I, and, and be pleasant. And he goes, why do you need to know that? I go, I always keep a record of who I talk to, just for my own records, in case I have to go back and I make a mistake. I know yeah. who to ask. And then when they're uh, a problem, mm. Then you got their name. It's just bad business. All right. That's, That's what you're saying. Business. Good well, luck with that. I'll tell you what's good business, Joe. Here's the worst segue into a plug you've ever heard. <laughs> February 17th, myself, David Tell, Amy Schumer, Artie Lang have one late show left. First show is totally sold out uh, at the Borgata. Um, and Caroline's, I'm here in, in April sometime. And I think I'm coming up in fucking Jacksonville and Syracuse. And go to jimnorton.com. Syracuse, nice. And uh, you can see my 1990 website, which is being. I, I went to one of Laszlo's guys. I'm going to start using. I think Good. to fix Good it. For you. Since the other guy uh, who does Bob Kelly's absolutely was horrendous. You doing line of the day today? I can't speak to that. I've had no experience with him. No, I'm telling you, if you did, it wouldn't be good. I would love him to Whoa. sue me. <laughs> what are we doing uh, with these live reads? First that, then line of the day. And that's all we got left. And then you do another one. Okay. Everybody knows Steven Singer is the best place in the country to buy a diamond, but what a lot of people forget is that Steven Singer is also the best place to go for Valentine's Day. You know Steven's always coming up with something new that will blow her away. Well, this Valentine's Day, uh, give her something really special, something that no one else has, something that will make her friends say, wow. We're talking about sky blue diamonds. What's the sky blue diamonds? Now he's got my attention. Hey. That's right, blue diamonds. Steven's new sky blue diamond collection is not only unique and beautiful, but it's affordable. How much do you think blue diamonds will cost you? Are you getting a Valentine's Day gift there, uh, Joe, for your loved one there? For your sweetie? We already know what you do for your mom. The company just emailed me. That's so funny. <laughs> What do they say? They responded to my urgent email that I sent on Friday. All right, so they're they're Hilarious. they're working with you. Yeah. You probably sent it after hours on Friday. Yeah, they're now working here it is with first you. First thing Monday morning, they're getting back to you. Boy, they sound like tyrants. It looks like they're showing responsibility right there, uh, Joe DeRosa. The first time they've ever responded. to I think an email. you owe uh, them an apology. Uh, no. They got back to you. That's... I don't. I called this guy yesterday. He didn't call me. It's, Yo, baby it. steps. Forget he got it. back to you. Let's it's see what ridiculous. happens. ridiculous. Anyway, go ahead. What would you ask Like me? I said, I have no idea what this company has done uh, to people like Joe DeRosa and others. No idea. Mm -hmm. uh, you got the Blue Diamond Collection. It's, uh, it's not only unique and beautiful, but it's affordable. Really? How much do you think Blue Diamonds will cost you, Joe DeRosa? No idea. $1,000. Sounds expensive, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think around a thousand too. Well, Steven's best-selling silver sure. sky blue diamond, Cynthia Hart, is just two hundred and ninety-nine buckaroos. Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> you have to That's check crazy. it out. That's crazy. How? Well, you don't even have to move. Go online to IHateStevenSinger.com and view the brand new collection of Sky Blue Diamonds. Have it shipped directly to your door for free with Steven's free shipping. And don't forget about his 100% money-back guarantee. It's truly risk-free shopping. So take this advice. Get the woman in your life a great gift. Steven Silver Sky Blue Diamond, Cynthia Hart. Uh, Steven Singer Jewelers, the other corner of 8th and Walnut, 1-888-I-HATE-STEVEN-SINGER or online at IHateStevenSinger.com. Right. Now we have to we have to do that now? You wanna do line of the day? Joe, read that for line of the day, will you? Line of the day is brought to you by <laughs> Not that Mask far. Sexual Flavors is the new way to foreplay, available in four tantalizing flavors. These oral gel strips will be the spark to light your bedroom flame. Visit sexualflavors.com to purchase or find a real realtor retailer. Near you. you. No, yeah, you need a realtor. Realtor. Brain. I need a realtor. I uh, need a realtor. Can I plug my thing? No, we're doing line of the day first. And then uh, I, I thought sneak that it. was line of no, the day. No, then I sneak that's it right before the actual line of the day, and everyone uh, goes, wow, that's where Joe oh, is going to be. Okay. How many runner-ups? Two. <coughs> first runner-up line of the day. <laughs> You're having your face oh, fucked at six? Yeah. Good the for you. <laughs> <laughs> you bet I was. <laughs> what? I guess yeah. today's show sucked. What's the line? Yeah. 
You got your face fucked at six, and you went, yeah, and Sam goes, good for you. Oh, okay. Oh, so that was me? Yeah. Yes! Runner up, baby. I, I accept that. Good. Yeah, but it's a mediocre show. You got line of the day on a mediocre show. That's not my fault. Here's another runner up line of the day. One of the guys that I dated a long time ago would let me, you know, you strap on and. He'd let you peg him, as we say? He, he, he <laughs> let you peg him? <laughs> we all learned something today. And now this is where you get your plug in, Joe, because everyone's uh, anxiously waiting for line of the day, so you got the, the, the audience's attention right here. I see. Yes. Arlington Draft House in Arlington, Virginia, this Friday. It's Saturday, next Thursday, the 7th, and the, uh, Sunday the 10th at Caroline's in New York. And then February 26th, the Boston Boston at the Royale, taping the half hour for Comedy Central. Please come out. All right, with that, here's your line of the day. Here comes the line of the day. Line of the day. Line of the day. I don't buy my mom a Valentine's Day present. Why not? Because I know. Sucks. What do you just eat her box? <laughs> 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 so much cum. There's, there's your line of the day. See? I'll see you guys tomorrow. Woo. I gotta go get my apartment painted. I'm getting my re living room redone because I hated the color. Right. They had it was gentleman gray, but now I'm getting a silver gray, which is lighter. It was Very too nice. dark. Are we going on uh, in the same car today? I hope so. All right, Who let me just read this to get out of here. To? Well, I just did. I, I just did this. Oh. Why do we have to do Steven Singer again? Bye, Jimmy. Uh, Joe, you were great today. Joe Rose of Comedy on Twitter. Ah, Steven Singer. Here's the inside scoop on Steven Singer and Steven Singer Jewelers. You know this guy is a genius. Did you screw up Christmas? This Christmas thing again. No one's thinking about Christmas anymore. Oh, yeah, they are. Uh, Steven will guarantee you guarantee you hit a home run for Valentine's Day. Why is Roland laughing? What happened? Like a baron. He's got his scarf on. Joe DeRosa put his scarf on and Roland. He's got a gentleman's started. scarf. What's wrong with that? Yeah, it's, it's cold feminine. outside. Huh? It's very I'm with you, Roland. <laughs> He's got a girlfriend. Yeah, she'd probably buy for him at H&M. <laughs> Can you imagine the perfect gift for Valentine's Day starting at just 69 bucks? I'm walking out with you, Joe. A real long stem rose dipped in 24 karat pure gold. That's right. This gift will last forever. You'll get credit for this gift for a lifetime. So why are we talking about Valentine's Day already? Well, because Steven Singer sells out of this gift every year. That's why we're talking about it this early. And he wants to make sure the listeners get the first shot at ordering his brand new hot pink love rose. <laughs> Hot pink love rose this year is the uh, the special color. That's cool. Uh, limited quantities are available, so reserve yours today. Steven makes it easy. Just go online to IHateStevenSinger.com. Click on the real long stem rose and choose your color. It's that easy. And have it shipped to your door for free in a beautiful gold gift box with your own personalized message and clothes. Visit him at the other corner of 8th and Walnut down there in Philly or call 1-888-IHATE-STEVEN-SINGER or online at Steven Singer. <laughs> oh, terrible. I, I hate stevensinger.com. Fuck. The Opie and Anthony show is pretty much over. Pretty much over. Pretty much over. This show will be available later today with Sirius XM On Demand. On Demand. On Demand. After 1A Live is next. <laughs>